Live day trading penny stocks, day trading live on small accounts, small amounts, day trading live stream every single day from 8.30 to 11.30, day trading go for small cap stocks, straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day, live day trading for beginners, for experienced traders, day trading live, sorry for yelling yesterday, yesterday I got way out of control, today I'm going to try to calm it down, I'm looking at stock MRIN, is a stock that's moving up right now, MRIN, I could have got out of BLIN for a winner up here, and then I added down into it, I could have got out for a winner again, but I was looking, I was uh, actually doing some stuff, so I never had a chance to get out, but it was only with two shares, so I wasn't real worried about it. So here we go, but I want to check mark my trade so I know exactly what I would have done on this trade. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here every single day, man. From 8.30 to 11.30, day trading low full small cap stocks. Straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. Let's go. All the way up, nothing can stop us. B-L-I-N, M-R-I-N. Those are my top two stocks. If I could short sell, uh, S-P-R-O, I'm probably going to short sell today, and O-R-T-X. Those are the couple stocks I'm going to short today, uh, probably. But B-L-I-N is one of my top, top stocks. And there's also W-E-I is popping up here a little bit. So let's go look at this one. I don't really see no trades right now. I did trade a couple different stocks this morning. B-L-I-N, C-K-U-C-U-E-N, or no, I didn't. Okay, so here we go. M-R-I-N is moving up, up, and up. Look at this one. Good morning, Riff. Good morning, Tammy Sanders. It's great to be here with you guys this morning. So if you're looking for a trade, it's probably going to be on M-R-I-N this morning. Look at this setup. It's going right now. You could get in right here. I'm going to take a paper trade at $12.46. And I'm going to look for this to go up to 13. This is a good little setup here. Nothing wrong with it, but I may have to add back in down to $12. I may have to add right down into 12, man, and get it going, going, going. But let's get through this stuff. I don't really see no trades out there for me right now. WNW coming back down. I did trade WNW at $10 back here. And then I sold into that push into the 1030s up there. That was about it. SEEL. So I'm green on the pre market, but I'm still in BLIN actually. I'm looking for this one to pop back up here. If BLIN happens to come down, I'm still going to add into this. Good morning, Carlos. Great to be here. We have a great Discord just getting started. Hopefully, you guys will be ready for the Discord. We're going to kill it. We're going to get it. We're going to do this, man. All the way up, this Discord is going to be part of the Monkey Army. So if you want to be part of the monkey army there you go let's do it let's do it man all the way up parabolic to the moon uh, there's not really a lot of good stocks out here but i will short sell spro and i'll short sell spro i want to short it up towards the 20 dollars hopefully this could make a push up to 20 and i could short sell right there on, on ORTX, on the other hand, I kind of needed to short sell up here by $5 already. Good morning, friends. Always good to see you, Van. Always great to see you. Let's get this show on the road. WNW, if you're going to get in something, this is possibly the spot right here at $9 on uh, WNW. The same thing with MRIN, like I said. If you can take all these trades... So this is a good trade, and I see a trade on WNW right at $9. Those are the two trades I see right now, and that's about it. That is it. I'm not going to take them. As you know, I don't trade the pre-market out there. Let's get this money. Let's do it, man. All the way up, parabolic. We're going to get this money out of here. What else is going on, BLRX? I'm not really seeing nothing. MRIN, like I said, was a good entry. The same thing with WNW off of $9 is a good entry right down there. WEI is possibly popping up here too. So those are about the only stocks I see for a trade. C-U-E-N, look at this one. It's made a low. It's made a higher low. That is an entry right here on this one too, on C-U-E-N. You know you have a tight stop of six. Uh, you could add down into the 540s if you had to, 
but CUEN, if you want to take a little uh, consistent trade, you would try to keep it above the 620s up there. Get in at 680. You're looking for the 750s up here. This is another okay trade right there. So MRIN, uh, CUEN, WNW, the trades I don't really take. I trade momentum trades, but we can see those trades all day long. There's another trade too if you wanted to buy off the bottoms down here. It's ATAG off of the 208s down here. See how they made the low? It's just the same old song and dance. Look on it on the five minute chart. You'll see the lows down there. You'll see right where to get in. But, anyways, there you go. There's a lot of little trades out there, but nothing. I, I look for a little bit different kind of money myself. KTRA, this one went straight up to all time highs and got rejected. A beautiful short sell. If it would have got over the 335s, I would have got it. So the first thing we're going to get through is it's day 377 of the Monkey Army March to $1 million. Started this account with $440 in it. It now sits at $10,902. All the way up. Keep it real, man. Keep it real. Don't be, uh, don't be shady out there. You guys know that. Just keep it classy. That's what I try to do out there. So you guys see all the trades I see. One on MRIN. One on WNW at the nine dollars. There's those other kind of trades on WEI and uh, ATHE and CUEN, the uh, bottom plays down there. Same thing with MRIN. See the low, see the higher low right here. You probably would have liked to get in by the $12 down here, but that's okay. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So all these trades. So POAI, let's see what else is happening out here. Nothing, man. Monkey Army. The next thing I need to get through is the Monkey Army. Who's in the Monkey Army? The Big Macs, the keychain holders, the donates, the subscribers. I save $5 each and every day, saving $5 each and every day. So far, I have, I added it into my Thinkorswim account this morning. That's what I did. So I got another 100 bucks, and now I'm going to start saving all over again. The next thing I need to get through is the word of the week. The word of the week is re repost. Repost, a quick, clever reply to an insult or criticism. Good morning, good morning. All right, is that how I get my name in green? Uh, to, we do a Thursday Power Hour live stream, which is today. Uh, and that's, uh, you, if you hit the join button, you'll be uh, a Big Mac there, a Mac. I just call them Big Macs, Macs. It's a monkey army club, basically. Just a good little spot, a, way, a good way to support the channel, a good way for me to keep tabs. I'm sorry, I don't mean to do that. But as we grow as a community, I want to really do something, what we are going to do, some great, great things. Um, uh, and giving back is what we're going to do. Not really even giving back, just uh, lifting people up hand by hand by hand, man. That's what I'm going to do out here. That's how I'm going to get down. And once we have more people, XELA is moving up. XELA is moving up. XELA, you guys remember this one from a couple days ago. I think today could have a day that it starts moving up. Look at this $2 down here. Remember $2 two days ago? You could still get into this right here. This is starting to build a little bit of momentum out there. MDGS, I can't make no promises. I'm just doing the best I can. So remember ATAG. Remember uh, those trades right down there. BLIN, I can't forget about. I'm in this trade too. I'm looking for this to pop up over $6, believe it or not. MEDS is blasting off. Am I missing it? Oh, MEDS, high alert. MEDS, high, high alert. There you go. Here's a trade right here. Here we go. We'll jump into this one right here. 655. I'm in at 655. I'm going to add down into 625. I'm going to take my profit as we go up right here. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's get it, man. 655, looking for 670s up there. There we go. 670, 680, 690. Just going to ride this on up, follow the momentum up. Simple, easy, and nice. Try to ride it up over the $7, taking profits along the way. Just simple, easy, and nice. 
No reason to get tripped out on it. So I just made 26 cents a share. I'll look for the new entry. You guys know what the new entries are. One minute high breaks, five minute candle pullbacks, the whole situation, 15 minute candles. I also look up. So here we go up to 710. I do have support at 660 right here. You're going to ride this up all the way up, man. All the way up. Keep on going. Uh, keep it going. So you could get back in on this little pullback. You could get in over the 710s. Over 710 would be the next order. Up at a 711, up into the 750s up here. Maybe even 730. It was 720, 730, 740s for the little one minute high break here. As it's going up, here we go. 711. Boom, right there. And just kind of try to ride this up a little bit more up there. I'm going to take the little pullback here into $7, the $6.60 to $7. I'm going to try to get in right there. If you got in at $7.11, it's a looking a little sketchy. Be careful. It's a one-minute high break, but breakout or bailout situation. Is that what you're going to do? You could add down into the 7. If you got in at 7.11, add down into the 7s. Looking for the 7.20s, 7.30s, and 7.40s up there. Just a little bit of movement up there. I'm going to, uh, that's just a beautiful little trade right there, that one minute high break. If you're still in from where I'm in, just keep on riding it on up. So there's BLIN is popping up here. Also, here's a little pullback again. I would add, if I'm in at 711, I would add back into this. I would add at the 690 down here, 680, 670. So what would my average be? It'd be about $7 right here. That would be my average. Here we go, man. $7 average. Uh, John, good morning, everyone. Always good to be here, man. Monkey Armory, get level two. I'll help you with the stock buying and selling. Yes, level two is everything, man. B L I N. We'll see what happens. So there you go. A beautiful little trade. Buying the dip, selling the rip. You're going to take a little bit of profit off the table at the seven tens if you got to add into this thing. So now you're in a free trade, uh, seven ten, and you're going to ride the rest up to the seven twenty, seven thirty, seven forties. Just keep on going. The next entry, the high of this one minute candle is seven dollars and twenty four cents. So up over 724 would be an add. Up over, add over 724 up into the 730, 740, 750s up there. So there you go. Just taking profits along the way. Nice, easy, and simple as it rides up there. Nothing, nothing, no big deal right there. You're going to look for the 750s. Hopefully it can make it up to the 750s. But be careful. See how close this one minute candle is. The five minute candle is getting stretched out a little bit, but still good, good trades in here. Good, good, good trades in there. So if you add it over 724, you're taking profit right up here by the 740s. Just beautiful little trades right there. All the way up, man. Nice to wake up. Yeah, nice to wake up, man. Look at this. So look at this go, man, all the way up. So now you're going to take some off the table. We're going to start looking for a five-minute pullback. If you're still in the trade, just keep on riding it. Keep on trading the momentum as it goes up. Me, I would get a little bit worried up here at the 750, so I would take my profit out. I'm going to look for a little five-minute pullback into the $7. If it keeps going up and gets over the 750, you can put an order up over the 750s. Up over 751 would be your next order for the one-minute high break right there. But the higher it gets, the more sketchy it gets. It's getting stretched out, so be very, very careful, man. Very, very careful. Let's go. Thank you for subscribing, Gene Vanna. Always good to see you guys in here. So let's get this money. So we're going to look for a five-minute pullback. This candle, this five-minute candle, we're going to see the next five-minute candle to make a new high is up over 750. So your order is going to be at 751 for the scalp up to the 760s, 770s. But be careful for a five-minute pullback. That's kind of what I'm waiting for down to the 685s. 
which is down by the VWAP. You could do a starter dip trade right here. Let me do this little dip trade, but it's the beginning of a five minute pullback. So just think about that as you're trading. Let's go, man. Good morning, Monk. Good morning, Army. Be careful. We, we probably want to wait a couple minutes. Your order would be up over 750 here, 751 for the push into the 760, 770, 790s up there. 751 and we'll see it's a breakout or bailout situation and we'll see how it works out here we go 751 taking profits up into the 760s up there all the way up parabolic there you go just a beautiful little trade take some profit off the table here and now it has lots of resistance at 822 so just keep on taking it, taking it, taking it. Ride, 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 man. That's what you guys want to do. So a beautiful little trade right there. Beautiful 750 break, the one minute high break, the five minute candles still going up. That's the thing with scalping the stock market. You can get it. You can do it. This stock has a history of running. So now, now look at that long wick on the top. Do you want to take a pullback on that? It's right up into my resistance. It looks like it could do a five minute pullback now. So let's let it pull back, possibly down. We'll see where it starts finding support at down here. If it starts finding support at the 750, so be it. You could take a washout trade, maybe down into the $7 down here. So here we go, man. Name the stock. It's MEDS we're trading. MEDS, we got in. First entry was at 655. We've been seeing the one minute high breaks here. It's stock MEDS. So let's get it. Let's do it all the way up, man. Here's a little pullback. You could get in on this pullback. I'm going to show you this trade. This is a five minute pullback here. I'm going to try to get in at 775 right here. 775 i'm going to try to put an order out in the market i'm actually going to add down into it i don't wait for confirmation i buy as it's going down on this five minute pullback it has good volume everything's looking good everything's looking nice this thing could go to the moon it has a low float everything's good everything's dandy let me try to get the 775s here i probably missed my entry already yep 775 that little dip trade see how it's finding support this minute has a little bit of a uh, five minute candle there you go ma'am beautiful little trade right there 775 for the push back to eight dollars right there a clean little scalp trade clean clean little scalp trade ma'am let's get it thanks yeah uh, name the stock yeah no problem johnny four toes no, no problem, man. Let's get this money. So now what are we looking for? It has a long wick on the top on the five minute chart. It has a long wick on the top on the one minute chart. It has pulled back down to the 773s. It tried to push back up over the $8. It got rejected. So now what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? The next trade is going to be, you're going to put your order up over 815, 816 right there. If it gets up over 816, it's probably at, re at least going to retest the 826, 836, 846. And that's kind of what you're looking for there. But what I would look for is either up over the 816s or I'm going to look for it down here at $7. And the first five-minute candle to make a new high is going to be up over the 850s up there. So here we go, man. <clears throat> How are you trading pre-mark? Is there a platform that supports? I am based in UK. I believe Interactive Brokers is the one I would use over there. But remember to do your own research. Always trade your own plan. Plan your own trade. Look at this thing. Over 816 up here is going to be another trade we'll see if it holds this five minute pullback right here is looking good but sometimes they will do two five ten minute pullback here let's see what happens it's right up to the resistance here right up to the resistance so he's using t yeah i use td ameritrade think or swim but in the uk i think interactive brokers i think storm traders would agree with that 
here we go so where is your order your orders over this one minute candle which is 798 799 you would start adding in as it pushes over this 850 up there you know what i mean add 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 taking profits along the way just writing it simple nice and easy the first one minute candle is up over 798 seven dollars and 98 cents there you go let me try it actually i'm gonna try it here 99 oh I'm in, there we go, 7.99, I'm in at 8.06, I'm going to add up over the next level, which is 8.14 up there, 8.10, I'm going to add a little bit more, I'm going to keep on adding up over and trying to take profits along the way, up over the 8.50s up here, here we go, taking a little off the table right there at 8.14, 8.08, Oh, let's buy the dip again right here. You could buy the dip right here, which is not bad. Add some more shares into this. You could get some more shares for the push over the 850s. Looking stronger, looking nice. We're looking for it to go right up over the 850s now. We're going to find out it could wash out. Has a lot of resistance at 822, so be careful. Be, be careful, man. Be, be, be careful. Let, let's see how we're going to trade this. I'm going to buy down on support again. I, it could come all the way down to 720s. We're looking for this to go right up over this level, which is the 815s right there. Is it going to make it? I, I'm comfortable with this trade because I think it has enough power. But look on the five minute chart. Is this going to be a clean five minute breakout or is it going to come down? I'm happy with it. I'm good with this. Do not rush. Excellent, Monk. Yeah, adding as it goes up. Here we go. 8.08. We're looking for it to push up over the 8.14s now, the 8.15s. I tried to take a little profit at 8.14, but I did not get filled. So I'm going to let this thing do what it wants to do. I'm being patient in this trade. I'm happy with this trade. I will buy the dip as it comes down, trying to build a little bit larger position just for the repush of eight dollars i know my average is above eight dollars right now but i'm looking if worst case scenario i'm gonna add down into the 710s down here maybe the 670s and i'm pretty 85 percent sure that i'm gonna get it to push back up here let's go let's do it so the next trade is up over that you could have took that little trade right there right up over the seven or whatever that was the 802s up into the 814s i was trying to add as it goes up see how hard it is to add as it's going up that's the kind of stuff you only know if you know something so just be careful out there man excellent buy 200 shares and sell for 25 cents nothing before i know i know i know i should do that i'm just trying to show you guys the trades out here here we go so my first profit target i think i'm gonna add if it gets up over the 814s up here let's do that if it gets up over first one minute candle is up over eight dollars here if this breaks eight dollars i'm gonna add into my position eight dollars on the bid side come on get up over there eight dollars on the bid side nope right up into eight dollars and did not break through right here still looking good still looking nice still looking beautiful mrin is coming down to twelve dollars b l i n oh i need to i'm just gonna get out of this one b l i n 78 i should have got out back there anyway but let's get back over to m e d s and see what's happening come on you can do it you can make it up over this eight dollars this thing's gonna rip up into the ten dollars the ten okay here we go so i sold for break even on blin here we go eight dollars let's see if it can keep going right here it's looking a little sketchy that's why i'm not adding over that one minute candle right there because i want to make sure if it gets over the 815s on the other hand now that's going to look a lot stronger right there yeah they ha is let's get this buddy man let's get it let's do it let's get it up here we'll see these can go either way it may wash out on me but you just got to realize your risk 
You risk every single time. Uh, you know in the long run you're going to make money. So you just need to keep it, keep on keeping on. But look at this. The volume is not going in. Here we go. Here it goes. Adding. Adding at 808 right there. It's hard to move my thing around right here. 822. Oh. There we go, 824. Taking some profit off. Here we go, up over the 850s, taking some profit into the 850s right there. And here we go, a clean, beautiful little trade right here, all the way up, man. All the way up, keep on letting it go, letting it go. I'm gonna take my profit off the table right here. I'm happy with 860, 859 right there. So a beautiful little trade right there. Look at that trade. Now ride it all the way up. You can take a dip trade now into the 850s, which I'll show you right here. 845, I'll take my profit at 852. There you go, right there. Some beautiful little trades. This is a little dip trade. You're gonna probably add into the 822s. Uh, get in at 845 right here for the push up. A uh, buy the dip, sell the rip over nine dollars now. Up over nine dollars. So there was your 50. Yeah, I know. I, I know, John Wick. I just don't trade the pre market. I'm just showing you guys the trades out here. If you want to take them, just simple, easy trades. Simple, simple, easy trades, man. Hopefully, you guys got that one. This is a good little dip trade right here. Great, great little dip trade, 850 right here for the push over $9. That's a good trade, good, good trade. 850 all the way up. There you go. Taking profits along the way, adding over 870 for the push into $9. There you go. There you go. Just keep on riding it. Sorry for yelling out here, but there's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little trades all the way up, man. So there, there it was. Yeah, that was a good little trade, man. That was it right there. Thank you, John Wick. Everyone says, what about uh, trading monkey, man? I talked about it was about it. I told you the whole entry. I told you the uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Brian Games, man. How big of an account do you trade with? Eight thousand uh three hundred and eighteen dollars is in my account. I usually trade with half of that each and every day. You did yeah, I did. You didn't see me take it? I was in at eight oh eight right there. I definitely took it. I took the trade. I took the trade, man. I was in it, I was doing it, I was killing it, man. Yeah, I don't trade in the pre-market. I'm just showing you the trades that are happening. And look at there was an 850 trade. Where is the next trade at? It's going to be up over 881. The one minute high breaks have not been really that clean so far. So be careful on the one minute high breaks. This thing is going to the moon, going parabolic. Let's go look at WNW. Look at this. Look at that, $9 right there, eight eighties. a beautiful little trade. Bounce, bounce, go, bounce, bounce, go, bounce, bounce, go, bounce, bounce, go, bounce, 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 go. How about M-R-I-N? Bounce, or bounce, 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 go, $12. Bounce, 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 go. C-U-E-N, same thing. C-U-E-N, bounce, bounce, boom. You guys know where the entries are. It's up to you to figure out if the volume's good enough to take those trades. That's what I'm talking about right there. Here we go, JW, you're back. Yeah, let's get this money, man. Yes, Trading Monkey, thank you for doing this channel. We love you. Thank you, Tammy Sanders. That means a lot, man. You guys, uh, hopefully you guys know I've been profitable green every day for 20 four days now 24 or five days in a row i have not had a red red day yesterday was cutting it close so yesterday definitely cut it close yesterday should have been my best day out in the stock market so meds let, let me show you the stocks that are easy to borrow today so the next trade on here wnw Let's get it. Let's do it. WNW, you could take this trade right here for the little push into the 950s right there on WNW. 
this is not a bad trade either 920 basically to 940 up here the volume i don't really like it but you probably would have liked to get in like we were talking about earlier at nine dollars good morning great job brother yeah you guys see the trades man this is a cool channel you're doing a great job 24 days equals how much i think 200 dollars 200 bucks paul the bald 200 dollars for uh, that many days i know i'm not making a lot with a with a count it's all relative because if my account was over twenty five thousand, you guys would see me making between two and probably thirty thousand every day that that's what i would make so wnw a good little trade here like i said that little pullback right there let's go man let's get this money let's do it i don't want to waste sterling what are you using sorry meds closes below the open 83 percent of the time on gaps up just for info sterling says just for info so here we go let's get it b-l-i-n all the way up b-l-i-n next stock there m-e-d-s okay let's put that one up there so b-l-i-n this actually started working out bounce bounce go and then now here it is this is another trade right here i'm going to take a paper trade at 5.92 five dollars and 92 cents right here let's go let's get it 5.92 i'm getting in this is a very sketchy stock meds breaking over let's get back over there i can't believe it here's a little pullback again man what am i gonna do for my country man what am i gonna do i'm gonna have to take some shares out here man now look at this are you under pdt what's your broker no pdt with a cash account here we go 917 now let's start watching this there's a little pullback right here let's try to 902 905 i was trying to get in right there at nine dollars right there that little micro pullback right there maybe we'll wait for the nine dollars right there i tried to get that one oh my gosh wow it goes to 11 yeah it has room all the way up into 11 dollars has room all the way up there blin i hope you guys are taking that little pullback trade also right there uh, at the 590s like i said 585s the 590s for the push over six dollars john wick that is awesome press for the 10 as called from the 780s there we go man yeah now uh, i was calling it all the way up man to 822 and then above 822 it has room to 11. here we go but ten dollars you guys know is always a sketchy sketchy spot here let's go let's see what happens nobody's buying the dip down this time it's coming back down you guys know ten dollars is always a resistance level there here we go 884 there it is 888 somebody's uh it looks like somebody's starting right there they're probably going to add down into the 840s 840s 888 let's get it man jw i'm late to that call good job man there's so many good calls out here let's get it let's do it b-l-i-n hopefully you took your profit up into the six dollars right there when i'm talking about trades i'm talking about scalp trades and possibly a little bit higher there let's go 885 boom 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 let's see what happens out here 880s looking for what are we seeing now see this five minute candle it, it did the same thing last time it broke over it has a lot of support down here by the 822s this eight dollar spot it could do a five minute pullback the first five minute count to make a new high is going to be up over the 920s is it going to do it this five minute candle closes in about 30 seconds 30 30 seconds sometimes they'll push it right at the end of the five minute candle right there so let's go man i did not know that the pd wrote that yeah no cash accounts cash accounts you can trade without the pdt rule there's blin i hope you guys are taking this look at that boom taking profits up into six dollars right there taking profits could have took it a couple different times tell you the truth right there there it goes 
here we go so the next trade on this is going to be the five minute candle to make a new high there's the one minute break right there if it gets over 895 that's going to be the first one minute candle to make a new high is up over 895 the five minute high is at 920 so uh, you would add up into that taking profits along the way here we go 895 let's get it Man, I feel like Homer Simpson. Look at BLIN, man. BLIN, such a good one. There's 895. You do your starter position right there, adding up over the 920s right there. There you go. Beautiful trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade up into the 940s, 920s, 930s. Learning to, yeah, I know. Still message. Let's get this money. Look at that trade right there. A beautiful, beautiful little trade. Taking profits along the way. Has room up into $10. The 970, 980s up there. Above that, it has room to $11. There you go, man. There you go. Just a beautiful little trade right there. Clean, clean little trade. Congratulations, everybody. That took that take profits up there by the 927s. I would take a little bit of profit up towards 927 up here. The first one minute candle to make a new high is going to be coming up here. Up over it needs to hold above the 923s basically. 920s right here. 923s. There you go. Good, good, good action right there. ADIL, no volume. Yeah, BLIN and uh, MEDS, the top two stocks. I don't trade the pre market. The AM trader says uh, GLTA, I'm done trading for today. Insurance, oh, A, oh, that's what you traded. I see. Look at this, man, going up, up, and up. Looking a little sketchy right here off of the five minute chart, though. But the five minute count to make a new high had already made it up. The one minute high break is up over the 930s to the 940, 950 up there. 929 to 940. Krispy Kreme donuts IPO today. Oh, Krispy Kreme opens today. What what is that? Is that D N what what is that? What's the ticker on Krispy Kreme? I had it up here. Where is my uh D it's it's donut or something i remember i can't remember what they're gonna what their ticker is d-n-u-t i think it's d-n-u-t or something j-w i would have gotten out at the nine hopefully hopefully got out at nine look at b-l-i-n man this thing's going up up and up look at that man how beautiful was that what a good trade right there what a good beautiful trade Oh, yeah, D-N-U-T, that's what I thought. Yeah, I seen that. I definitely seen that. D-N-U-T. I'm actually going to put that up on a chart over here somewhere. D-N-U-T. Yeah, right here. I know it's not showing yet, but D-N-U-T. Boom. Yeah, D-N-U-T. Really, 988. Look at this. So let's see what else is going on on M-E-D-S. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see what's happening. So MEDS is it's looking like look at the curve, man. It used to go straight up and now it's kind of doing the rainbow effect. You know what I mean? The rainbow. Uh, it could have one last spike up straight up into ten dollars. That's what we're waiting for. The first five minute candle is going to be up over the nine thirties up here. So let's see what happens. I'm going to wait for SPC. I'm going to put this back up here. SPCE. Okay, here we go. One last little push up until $11 possibly. I don't know. We're going to find out here in a bit. <clears throat> really want 988. Let's get this money, man. Is it going to make it? Hopefully it has the last push, but we'll see what happens. Has a lot of support at 820. And then the next support is down at the 775s. I would say down here by 660, either the 820s or the 660s down there. 820s or 660s. Let's get it. Let's do it. Sometimes it's hard to trade if it's kind of the backside. MEDS is already up 99% on the day. Let's do this. The, uh, I shout you from the rooftops. I shout you out loud. I shout you wherever I go. 
This is everybody who's donated to the channel. Hands raised, stays raised. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. I never lose. Either I win or I learn, man. And that's the truth. Look, I call that a rounded top. Yeah, a rounded top. I call it the rainbow effect, man. Just like the blue, uh, the all-time highs, I always called the blue sky. You guys know that. But now now everybody adding it into their new and updated versions. Here we go, man. Let's get this. I, I know I, but who cares? Whatever, man. Let's get this show on the road. The self-affirmations, I am an unstoppable force of nature. My friends are tough. My friends are powerful. Be careful. I am an unstoppable force of nature. 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 I'm going to try to be cool, calm, and collected. So one, one trade I want to show you guys is on WNW, this $9 right here like we were talking about. The bounce, bounce, bounce. 903 right here, this $9 level for the push possibly to 925. Maybe it even goes to $10 up here. I don't know. M-E-D-S, here we go. Here we go, first one minute candle. This is exactly how they love to set it up. Then they can say the one minute candle, which is over 880 up here, and then add, add, add all the way into $10. Look at that, that's that little trade right here. Right, right there on M-E-D-S. Entry on M-E-D-S is 888 right here. 888, there is an entry. 888, you're using, what are you using as your stop? You're using 861 as your stop. If you're getting in at 880, so you have about a 20, 30 cent stop. You're looking for this to go up to the 920s first profit target. So a one to one risk management trade right here with the potential of this going up to $10, $11, I think, but we'll just see. 880s. Nope, looks like they're not going to do it, maybe. We'll see what happens. 880s, come on. Let's go. B-L-I-N, yeah, B-L-I-N, that could be a monster today. C-U-E-N, you guys know the entry on that one. We talked about the entries. Bounce, bounce, boom. Uh, W-E-I, breaking down a little bit. Bounce, bounce, down. And then uh, we'll see what happens on MEDS here. Here we go. Is it going to make it 888? We're looking for this to break over $9 here. Is it going to make it? Man, this thing's having some trouble right here. Come on. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's go. Kevin, you have to change your TIF settings. Yeah, you have to change your TIF to GTC. That's what good till canceled extended hours. That's what that means. Let's go, let's get it. S-P-R-O, O-R-T-X, missing out on the short sells out there. We'll, we'll be able to find some short sells later. I have a new thing, I believe that's coming, that I, I wanna show you this new thing. Um, I, I possibly have a new thing coming, but anyways, it will show you the short sells a lot easier. And I want to show you guys this thing. I really believe in it too. If I don't believe in something, I never will do it. Kevin, uh, Kevin, you have to change your TIF saying B-L-I-N. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So to me, this is an entry here, but is it going to work out? If you, if it stops you out, it stops you out. Uh, the next entry for me is down here by the 820s, but it is doing a five minute pullback. It's rounding on the top, looking a little bit tough right there. But here we go. Here's the entry right here. Boom. 880s. All the way up, you got in. Beautiful, nice, and perfect right there. Hopefully, you guys are taking this trade all the way up into the 910s. For the break of nine, that's what you're looking for. There's the break of nine, taking a little bit of profit right there, adding up into the 950s, or not adding, but taking more profits at the 920, maybe even recycling shares and adding as it gets up over these levels up here. The first five minute candle to make a new high is going to be, it's actually going to be here pretty quick. We don't know what it is yet. Right now it is 929.
but in about 10 seconds this five minute candle is going to close here we go boom 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 beautiful little trade right there i hope you guys got it i hope you guys got that trade at the 888s like i talked about all the way up into the 920s up here beautiful trade beautiful beautiful little trade right there take some of your profits off the table the first five minute count to make a new high is it just did it it's going 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 congratulations on that trade right there a clean good trade if i would have took that trade it wouldn't have worked out that's why i don't take that trade right there but look at that beautiful nice and perfect john it's always rough when we see the tickers differently good morning all don't forget to check the discord out yes Sterling, we're starting this Discord from the ground up. I know there's many other Discords out there. Please don't promote other Discords and stuff like that. That's all I ask of you. Hopefully, you guys can respect me as a man, as a human being out here, and really follow the rules. If anybody hears of any promoting out there, please let me know, or please let one of the moderators know. I We all know there's lots of Discords out there you can find. I really do appreciate it. That's all I ask. Nothing, nothing crazy or nothing like that. If you if you want promoted, just send me an email, and I have no problem most of the time doing it. There we go. John, it's always rough when we see tickers different. Look at that. Look how beautiful that was right there. So where is the next trade at? If you guys were in at 880, adding up over taking profits, the next trade is up over 951, the one-minute high break here. 951 up into the 980s. 951 would be the first one minute candle to make a new high that's going to be a scalp trade at 951 there you go 951 looking a little sketchy remember the one minute high breaks don't work too well but look at this so the the trade back here it did work but 951 are you going to add into this a little bit if you did get in at 951 are you going to add into the 921s 921s if you have to if you have to that's why on this on this chart meds the one minute high breaks are not working they have worked in the past but right now the cleanest setups have been the five minute setups on this stock so just remember that as you go about your day but 951 right there there we go what makes the world great i promote real news yeah just uh news that's it man that I, I i don't care i don't care about uh just uh don't promote discords that's it man I, it gets too out of hand everybody's promoting their stuff out there you guys know everybody wants to grow everybody wants people over there but please please don't do that it's just general respect around the youtube world around the discord world most people are very respectful but there's some that are just uh they just don't have no decency at all you know what i mean they just go geez man i'm just gonna get out there at all costs and those kind of people i just don't want around you know sergio uh, i i want you to get there fair and square that's it man that is it i hope you guys can understand that here we go just dirty dogs you know what i mean meds could drop on the open some bags from the previous the one, the one that will come sneak behind you and uh, get your girl behind your back. That kind. That kind. Uh, unless she loves you already, man, I guess. I don't know. Let's go. Good morning. Just finished daughter's duty. Uh, good job, Jezebel. Yeah, uh, school is out for the summer. But let's go. Let's see what happens out here. So that 950 adding into 921 right there. You have a 941 average. You're going to reduce your risk. You're going to reduce your risk at break even now because you have a 941 average. And then boom. Or maybe you have a 943 average. You're going to reduce your risk and then let it go, man. Yeah, Diego, Alejandro, Dirty Dogs. I, I Yeah, man. They don't run channels to see both sides of the coin, so they don't understand not promoting others. Yeah, I know. They they don't uh don't I uh, they don't see it. They just don't see it. Yeah, man. Let's get this money. Let's go. Let's do it. 
Good morning, Mike. Diego, take it easy, man. Diego, you know the dirty dogs out there, man. The dirty dogs, we need to give them a bath, man. Let's go. Let's see what's happening out here. Look at MEDS 941. Are you going to be able to reduce your risk? We have about 10 minutes until the market opens. I have MEDS. M-E-D-S. Let me put this up here real quick. M-E-D-S. M-E-D-S. Three million is the float on M-E-D-S. Here it goes. It's going up, up, and up. The higher this goes, the smaller the float gets. This thing is going to be a monster. Look at the float is around three million on this stock. Let's put out the stocks you can short sell on Thinkorswim real quick. Actually, I'm going to do that later. I think going into next week, I'll have a better little idea how to do it. Good morning, monkey. Let's dance. I don't need to promote trades because this chat has enough. Yeah, exactly, man. Exact. No, I'm not talking about traders. I'm just talking about uh, Discord channels and things like that. I, all these all these traders, yes, they deserve uh, talking to. But when people start going, come over to this Discord, come to this YouTube channel, do this, then what, what are we talking about out here? Who doesn't love Krispy Kreme? D-N-U-T. Yes, absolutely. So did you see how you could reduce your risk and plus take a little profit? So now you are flat on this trade and you didn't risk nothing. The one minute high break did not work out but you got to add into your position sometimes. That is one of the best ways to reduce risk. I think that's one of the main things you should put in there to reduce risk. I know sometimes you think it's adding to a loser, but reducing your risk there. This five minute candle, what is gonna happen? It's setting up for a gap and go setup. What did we see yesterday on CUEN? Let's go look at yesterday at the market open. What happened? We seen the same thing. And what happened at the market open yesterday on CUEN? Well, let's go look. Actually, let's blow up this chart. Let me get this out of here. Dial settings, get my trades out of here. We're gonna talk about this one. Blow this up, maximize sell. C-U-E-N, look what happened. It was grinding higher and higher and higher and the market opened. Let's go to the one minute chart so we can really see what's happening. Uh, so it was grinding higher and higher and higher. At the market open, it did a gap and go set up right up over the highs right there. Boom, right there. And then it washed out. It washed out. It washed out and it curled around and came back up. So what is going to happen to MEDS? I don't know. We don't know, but it sure looks the same out there. Hey, Monk, can you hear me? Yeah. I, I hear you learning, Trader. Yeah. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I don't, know, I don't hear your Discord. It's very odd. Hold on. Let me you you hear me mind. now. Okay, yeah, now I can hear you. Uh, check out uh, CPOP. I, I realize you don't have this one on your watch list. It's a really fast moving ticker here. CPOP. Check it out if you want. CPOP. Okay, yeah, I'm going I'll keep this one on my watch list. Do you know what the float is on uh, CPOP? Uh, I think it's around six million. Oh, okay. What? CPOP. Oh, okay. Yeah. All, all right. Yeah, I'll keep it on the on my eye. I don't really know much about this one, so I just don't know what I would do about it. But anyways, there's always a little bit of scalps on these stocks. So even if I don't know about it, maybe I will uh, figure it out as I go. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, but you guys see what's happening again on this. It's building a huge little uh, wedge right there. Is it going to be a bullish triangle or a bearish triangle? 
or uh, following wedge, whatever the case may be. I don't know what kind of uh, patterns they are, but all I can see is it's, it's a wedge pattern is what I call them, I guess. But CPOP, thank you, Learning Trader. I'll keep it up on my watch list up here. Actually, I'll put it up on a chart just to see what's happening with this one. Top gappers before open. M-E-D-S, uh, A-T-H-E, B-L-I-N, B-G-I, W-N-W, S-P-R-O, K-T-R-A, K-T-R-A. I got to put that one back up there. I have that one on my watch list also. I forgot to put this up here. So thank you, Learning Trader. I'll keep an eye on that one. K-T-R-A. Also, I forgot about this one. There we go. KTRA went all the way up right there. So I have my stocks ready for the market open, but MEDS is going to be the top, top stock out here. What are we looking for? You guys definitely seen on CUEN what was happening. What happened last time? Is it going to do the same thing or is it going to do the opposite? It could do the same thing or it could do the opposite, which is the open washout boom. There's only two moves a stock can make at the open when it's showing itself strength right here. And the move is the gap and go set up with the fake out breakout possible take profits quick or it does the three minute opening range, which is down into the 825s. And it either keeps on going down the rest of the day, or at least for the first hour or first 30 minutes or so, or it does the open washout boom, which it finds support. And the volume will tell you that if it's gonna come back up there. CPOP, I'm gonna put up on this chart over here and see what's happening. CPOP, I don't know about it. It's a little bit higher price than I like to trade. But anyways, it's still moving up. It's still going. If you guys want to look for something, if it gets up over there, I wish there were shares to borrow on this stock. I would actually take a short sell on it, I believe. Uh, the only the only trades I see on stocks I don't know about. Oh, this is an IPO that ended uh, started strong out there. Actually, let's see what's happening. This is an IPO. Yesterday it started strong. Just like DD, uh, DDY or whatever it was, DD something. I can't remember what it was, but anyways. So this will be all intraday plays on CPOP if it's, if it's going. I didn't really see this one as an IPO though. Maybe I missed it, but I did, but I did see, uh, was it Dunkin' Donuts? No, uh, a uh, Krispy Kreme or whatever, some sort of donut company out there. But anyways, yes, yes, yes. But here we go. So CPOP is an IPO. Some of those stocks, I just don't trade those too much off. They they used to cl open weak. Recently, some of these IPOs, the last few, I went back and looked at a few. The last few have been opening kind of strong, which is weird to me. Remember when Coinbase opened too. There we go. Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Krispy Kreme. I guess it's a donut place or something. I don't know. But yeah, donut, donut, donut. So here we go. This is the open washout boom. Exactly what I was talking about. Remember to trade your own plan, plan your own trade. This could be an entry right here. But I'm going to wait for the market to open because sometimes when they uh, start coming down at before the market opens, they'll keep coming down. MEDS has so much volume. This is going to be a crazy, crazy stock. I think it could get to $11 up here, but we'll see. We will definitely see. Also, Meds has an active S3. Don't get rolled pug. Uh, the rug pulled under you peoples. Yes. That too, absolutely, abs absolutely, man. Don't get the rug pulled out from under you. But that happens with all stocks. They uh, Most of these stocks will file those S3s or whatever. So anyways, you, you, know, you know it's just a matter of time. But we're just trading the momentum. Don't get caught. Don't, don't get caught, man. Let's get this money. I'm not going to short today. I possibly will short. CPOP is busting up over the tops up there. Look at this thing. There would be no shares to short on this because it's an IPO. Sometimes it's hard to find shares to short. But anyways, look at that busting over the high, just like Learning Trader. Look at that curl going up, up, and up. Thank you, Learning Trader, for calling this stock out here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, man. So CPOP, 
is going up, up, and up right there. I'm actually going to think, oh, I did have KTRA up on my chart over here. Let's see if I could need to put up another one. BGI I'm going to put up here. Oh, the market's going to open. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. I'm on stock MEDS looking. CPOP is going up. Look at MEDS right here. Going up, up, and up right there. Trying to do the open washout boom right there. Trying to find support here going up. Sorry, man. I was a little bit off right there. BLIN high, high alert. BLIN high alert. CPOP going up also. BLIN BLIN is going up. MEDS2 is trying to make it. But BLIN right now is one of the top stocks moving out there. BLIN, look at this. BLIN did the gap and go set up right up over the tops up here. Looking nice, looking perfect, looking beautiful. Be careful on this one because this one's super duper choppy. I'm going to stay with uh, BLIN until MEDS gets up over or down towards the $8. BLIN. Looking good, good, and good. STAF. BLIN. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this thing go, man. It's BLN just getting the first market orders. Look at this thing, man. Right up over. Looking nice. Looking powerful. Looking beautiful up here, man. BLIN. I wait the first three minutes. You guys know that. We're going to be cool. We're going to be calm. We're going to be collected out here. 826 on MEDS. Rolex says around 826. I like it. I like it. I like that entry down there. But look at BLIN. This thing is going all the way up. Is it going to keep going? I don't know. It does have room. $7.19 up there. Is there anything else moving? I'm not sure. Let's do it. Let's get it. BLIN doing a huge pullback. This thing is so choppy out there. There goes MEDS going up. I'm going to get back over to MEDS, I believe. Here we go. MEDS, look at that, 880. The open, this is the three minute opening range. You use the bottom of that candle as your risk right there, 874. Now this one's going up. So BLIN and MEDS, top two stocks out there. Top two stocks. Maybe WNW, no, MEDS. Here we go, man. DNU must have stopped at open. Is it open or something? D-N-U-T? I don't know. D-N-U-T. Boom, boom, boom. No, it's not open yet. It's not not open. So the first two minutes have closed. 9.54 is the pre-market high out here. I'm going to put that in an orange dotted line. It's getting ready to go over it. I'm looking for a trade out here. Looks like people are going to trade it up over the 9.50s up here. Be careful. It's setting up for this one washout trade, which captures me sometimes. So I'm probably not going to take it around the first three minutes. Even if it busts over this 954 up here, I'm a little bit worried. My third eye is blind today. Yeah. Look at BGI. BGI, is that one moving up too? No, BGI going down, down, and down. MEDS. Look at this one. MEDS coming down. Look at that, man. That's the trade that gets me, and it comes all the way back down to the 820s. If it comes down to 820s, I'll get in. You could try it at $9, but I don't think so. WNW is going up. CUEN is going up also. CUEN, if it gets up over the 750 up there, maybe I'll look for a trade. But WNW is moving up too here. So let's see. The volume's a little bit different in the stock market today. Yesterday was the last day of the end of the month. They wanted to get their quota, their monthly money. You guys know that. So they want. They had a little bit of money to get still. WNW, this one's moving up. I think this can get up to $12 today. WNW. WNW. 8 to 12. Let's go, man. N C U E N at 705 out at 745. M E D S. Look at this. W N W. C U E N. Like we said, we said that in the pre market. I hope you guys took it right there. 
Look at that. Boom. That break right there. Beautiful little trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade. The same thing we seen on BLIN and we seen it on WNW too, I think, wasn't it? WNW. Let's get it. Support monk. Yeah, buy at support, sell at resistance. I need a little bit of volume. I'm going to try to buy the dip, sell the rip. Uh, MEDS, I don't know if it's just coming down now. I'm not really seeing nothing I like out there. SPRO. SLCA. Here's SLCA. Oh, here we go. SLCA. What is happening out here? WNW SLCA SLCA Let, let's see what's happening with this one boom 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 SLCA man if this could go up a little bit more into the $13 I think $13 this could be a shot for me our IG is climbing Tammy Sanders says SLS, let's uh, SLCA. I don't know what's happening. MRIN all the way up. MRIN is moving up to. I'm going to get over to MRIN. Here we go. Locked up, locked up in a halt. MRIN, MRIN, locked up in a halt, man. MRIN, look at this. Look at this stock. This is an incredible, incredible, incredible stock, man. Look at this thing. I'm going to trade this one. Looks like I'm going to have to trade this one. I was going to trade SLCA. I think this is a short sell on there. WNW is moving up also. Look at this. WNW. MRIN is locked up. MEDS is coming up a little bit too. Look at these stocks, man. WNW has room all the way to $12. MEDS going up, up, and up here. Finding support again. What is going to happen? WNW, MRIN, and uh, SLCA for a short. SLCA for a short, short, short. Let's see. I I'm going to stay with this one, actually. I think I'm going to short this one. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it. Let's do it. D D Y N twelve seventy four ten to twelve one fifty boom 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 let's get this so I'm on my short account I have to remember that M E D S is going up M E D S is going up a little bit too trying to go up M R I N I forgot about M R I N yeah W N W is going too here we go let's get this. What is going to happen on this? So M -E -M -R -I -N is going up there, but we're going to find out. Here we go, Monkey AMC. Yeah, AMC is going straight up also. So there's some stocks out there buying the dip, selling the rip. MEDS is holding support. ATHE is also moving up. AMC is moving up too. So let's get it. I need it up a little bit higher, and I'm going to jump into this thing. SLCA up here. Let's go. Let's see what happens on this one. Okay, but I changed the SEEL. Let's go, man. I, it's worth it for me to hang out for a minute on this stock. I'm only going to do two ads on this. That's all I'm going to do. Two, two ads. Let's go. MEDS is going up, up, and up. I'm going to have to get out of here for now. MEDS is going up. I'm going for it. Here we go. MEDS. Oh, no, M-E-D-S all the way back down. M-R-I-N, let's get this one. M-R-I-N, this should come out of the halt in a couple minutes. S-L-C-A, oh. Here we go. I I'm getting ready to short this one. I know M-R-I-N's coming out. What's going on, Learning Trader? Yeah, I, I yeah, I like it. I like it. I see it on my other charts over here. I do like ATHE also up there. Uh I do have resistance at 214, but if it gets over that, then I think it has room all the way up to the 230s, 240s, 250s. 
I saw your call last night. Good job, guys. There's some good, good calls out there. MRIN, it looks like I want to go over to MRIN. When does that one come out of the hole? I cannot forget I'm on my short account. Looks like I'm going to try to take MRIN out of the halt here. But there's also ATHE, like uh, Learning Trader saying, MRIN, let's get it. Let's do it. Let's get this money, 16, 10 to 16, 75 shares. 70 shares. Power hour today. Yes, there is going to be a power hour. BLIN is going up. MRIN also. So let's see what's happening. SLCA is a good short sell. Good, good short sell up towards that $13. I was looking for a little bit more of a spike up there. ATHE looks like it's about to bust over the 215s right there. WNW coming back down. Yeah, a little bit right there. It was looking good at $9 all the way up to the 920s, 950s, 940s up there, whatever it was. I'm going to try to get this one. Where am I going to get this? I'm going to look for MRIN to do. I don't know. The volume's a little weird on this, but we'll see what happens on here. Should come out the halt in about 15 seconds. Let's go. 1331, 100 shares. Hold for the dollar. 1331, John Wick is saying, hold for the dollar. I'm going to see if it does a little washout down here to the 1250s. I'm going to try to get it down there. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. 1330s. I guess you could try it right there. Look at that. 13, not enough time right there, but. This thing's going to the moon, going parabolic. Look at MRIN all the way up, man. All the way up. All the way up, you can't stop it. Look at this thing, 1450. You could try the 1450s. I'm going to look for a little bit more of a pullback. That 1450, 1460 right there, that's an okay. Oh, nope, here it comes a little lower. 1450. I'm going to have to save some shares to add into this thing. Where is the next trade? What is that level? 1456 had lots of resistance. $14 here. We'll have to see what's going on with that one. SLCA. There it goes. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it was going to go right there. I thought it was going to come right on down right there. There it goes. All the way up. Boom. Look at man. Let's get this money. Don't sleep on ACST. Let's get this money out here. There's so many good trades out in the stock market today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trades, man. Beautiful trades. Let's go. I know you guys are promoting people. I know you guys are promoting people, but that's fine, man. Everybody sees the same stuff out here. There's no gods out here. You guys know that. <laughs> You guys know that. Could you have got in at 1330? I highly doubt it, but you prob possibly could have right there. Let's go, man. Let's get this money. Thanks, guys. Yeah, John. Thanks, guys. I hear you, man. I, I hear you. S-P-R-O. Look at S-L-C-A. Is that 1290 still? I'm still looking for MRIN to get in this thing. I just cannot see. There's a good little entry right here, 1470s. But I'm just not taking it again. I'm kind of hesitating today. Definitely hesitating. FRGI, okay. Uh, MRIN all the way up. 1330. No, you could have got 1330 before it jumped up there. But I don't think you would have got 1330. It didn't go down that low. It was very close. So it came down to 1331 right there. Here we go. Look at this. There's been a couple good entries. We talked about the 1450s a couple different times right there. Beautiful, beautiful little trades. Look at MRIN. Today is the day. Is it going over $20? MRIN looks like this thing is a monster. This thing is a beast. This thing is a power, power, powerhouse, man. So uh, I think uh, Rolex is calling 826 on MEDS, target 915. I do like MEDS there also, but I like to trade the momentum. That's my specialty out here. 
SPRO, let's see what's happening. Okay, look at this. MRIN, get in, man. You should have entered MRN out of the halt, boss. I got in, you got in at 1338. Good trade right there, man. I don't, I didn't see it uh, whip down. It was too fast for me. Too, too fast. I did see a trade right here at 1450. Locking up, locking up, locking up, locking up into another halt. So it looks like I may get this one out of this next halt here. SPRO, no. Man, look at this. Look at this. SLCA, why didn't I take this one? What a short sell, man. What what a short sell. I just didn't really like it. It needed to push up on the five minute chart. It was looking so nice, man. Oh. That was the trade. I knew I was missing out on that, man. I hate my life. I punk so hard on MRI and me too, Foxtrot. I just did not take it. Yesterday has me a little shook because I kept selling uh, awkwardly out there and getting it. But BLIN, let's get over to MEDS and see what's happening out here. I do like MEDS here. What the heck, man? Eight, eight to 10. Where would I add into? This would be the bottom down here. Okay. MEDS is looking pretty good. Called MRM, but I'm back holding XELA. Yeah, XELA, man. That one's tough. That one is is tough, man. $2. I, I, I'm not going to trade it until it gets over the 230s up there. Man, a Rolex called a beautiful easy trade right here. Look at this. 825 Rolex beautiful beautiful call Rolex beautiful call I missed out on my entry right here look at this I was gonna get in right here but I was just waiting for it to get back to 825 the 820s right there all the way up to 850 Rolex a powerful powerful call Rolex you called it you said it you did it there Rolex man what a great great call right there thank you for calling that out uh, it's prudence says S-E-E-L is moving up. Man, beautiful call. Beautiful, beautiful call right there. You couldn't have beat that one. Rolex, you have a great look at the market there. Someone is up three bucks, 411. Clap, clap. Good job, Davey411. Or is that it, man? D-Row, I'm holding the bag on X-E-L-A as well. Look at this MEDS getting ready to do a red to green move. The open price is $8.95 out there. I'm going to get back over to MRIN now. Yeah, MRIN. I have to trade less shares now because it's up so high now. It's up to $15, $24. Man, uh, MEDS was a beautiful, beautiful call right there. All the way up, all the way back down. I missed it, but it was nice. Nice, nice, nice. So 44. When is this going to come out of the halt? I don't know. Are you shorting MRIN now? No, I'm getting ready to get in long here. I'm going long. I think it has room up to $20. I think possibly 20 so I'm going to take a long trade on it. Here we go. It, it could be a short trade, but I would never uh, count this one out. This would not be a short for me. No, no, no. You could try a short and take some pullbacks on it, but me, I'm going to take the long trade. It opens in about two minutes. Short that pig. M-R-I-N. Foxtrot says, Monk Rollicks looks for support and waits for it to dip so he can get in, which is what we've been trying to get you to do for so long. I know, Bob Bush. I need to start doing that. Soon as one of those stocks pay off, I will do that. KTRA is moving up. KTRA. Sorry for yelling out here, guys. I'm trying to be cool, calm, and collected. We're coming for this money all the way up. Nothing can stop us. If you guys want to sign up for a great Discord from the ground up, we're building it. We're going to have different sections. I'm trying to do the watch list by myself. Some of you guys are uh, have great watch lists in the morning, too. We're really going to start standing out and spreading out and spreading up right here. Anthony has great options looks and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's get it, man. 
Dirts are screaming about M-R-I-N. Yeah, they got squeezed hard, man. Are they still in this thing? I don't know. I'm going to take a long trade. What am I looking for for a long trade? I'm looking for a pullback into $15. $15, I'll try to pick it up. $14.80, $15. I may have to add into this, but I'm going to do it with full size anyway. We'll see how this works out. What is happening? What is happening? Man, I wish I would have short sold that stock. I seen it. I had it. I got it, man. Good volume on XE. Yeah, XELA is trying to push up a little bit. It's at 210, 214. ATHE. Oh, here we go. 1624. Oh man, looking for it to come down a little bit more here. I was looking for the $15 down there. $15. There was a little scalp trade on it right there. Just wasn't trusting it. Look at this thing. That little pull back down to 16 right there, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. All the way up. Parabolic. Look at that. This thing is a monster. This thing is a powerhouse. Has room all the way to $20. All the way to $20, man. Look at that. The shorts are covering now. They had to get out. They 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 shorted all the way up and covered their position. Look at this. Locking up, locking up in another halt, man. Oh, yeah. MRN got me wet. Oh, man. Diego, that was a beautiful trade. I was so close to hitting the button right there. I was looking for a little bit more of a pullback into the $15 right there. If I could have got 15, that would have been it. I should have done the starter at 1560s and then added down into 15. But I was looking to start at $15 and add down possibly into 14. And it did not work out for me, man. Oh my gosh, look at this. Let's see if there's any other stocks moving up here. SLCA, look at this short sell, man. I hope you guys took that. I hesitated on it. FRGI, this is another short sell at some point. PVAC, PUMP, SM, oh my gosh, SM, another one. OIL. Any X, ALT, ALT you can short sell also. Look at that one. Off of the lows, I probably wouldn't short sell that one though. Easy to borrow, M-U-R, B-T-U, oh my gosh, my short sell, I missed my, B-T-U was another short sell one, man. This was another one. I just fumbled an MRN so bad I saw it going into the hole, so I got in because I think they might open this over 20. Bob Bush, I think it's going 20, $20. I think the shorts are waiting for the top now a little bit. I don't, I think it's gonna go up right there. Congratulations, congratulations, man. Or maybe, maybe it's coming right down from there. I don't think so, but I think it's going a little bit higher. Look at all these stocks out here. Look at these short sells. The low volume kind of throws me off a little bit. I need, uh, it's hard for me to short sell these ones, but definitely some good short sells out here. Look at this, $12.95 all the way down, $12. Got in at $16.29 with 200 shares. John Wesley Dickinson got in with 200 shares there. Thank you guys for being in the uh, Discord. Thank you guys for showing up here. Let's go look at MEDS again. This one's trying to find the support again. I just don't like how if it gets back up over this 880, I'll look for a trade on it. I definitely will. M-R-I-N. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go, man. 10, 2K deep from 1032. Might get the full double up. That would be so nice, man. 2K, double, double, double. Look at this thing. What a monster, man. What a monster. I think it's going to 20. I think it's going to 20, $20, man. I'm going to try to get in this thing. I still, I'm going to get in. This thing has so much momentum, so much volume. I wish I would have took it at the uh, 14, 1350s 
and then or not the third tier the 1450s right here i wish i would have got it the pop's popping back up there yes yes and yes w and w coming back down look at that bounce 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 but you got to get in on the first bounce down there athe definitely some resistance seel is popping up here so MRIN, this one could take us for a ride, but I'm ready to get this ride. I'm ready to take it. What am I looking for on MRIN? We're going to look for this. If it goes over $18 and can do a little pullback somewhere there, I'm going to look for that little micro pullback. I'm going to jump in there, but this thing may keep washing out. You're going to have to be very careful. It's the second minute halt. It, ha it still has okay volume, has, has good, good volume. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's dandy on this one. M-R-I-N. Hey, that's what I like to hear. You are up big. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's get this money. J-W, uh, is it going to open up at $20? I, I would take some profit probably by the 1850s and then up towards the 20 $20, $20. Stop saying the thing, same thing, stock name. Okay, M-R-I-N, man, all the way up. Parabolic to the moon. Let's do it. M R I N S T A F is popping up there. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? S T A F is going up. S T A F. Here we go. 398, 399. Uh, MEDS is also popping up there. There you go. 1850, $19, $20 still going up. Congratulations, jumping in on that halt there. I don't know what's going to happen on this. 1860, 1850. Oh my gosh, I keep I keep not jumping into this thing. This thing has so much power. I just don't know where to grab this at. 1880, a lot of people taking profit up towards the 19s. $19, still going higher, still looking powerful. I don't know. You could put your stop if you short sold at 1948 right there, but no way. I wouldn't short sell this yet. I would not short sell yet. Monk FOMO on MRA. I'm about to FOMO any second, man. I'm getting ready. I want to get in on this thing so bad. I just don't know. There's the 1880s, $18. People taking profits. Is it coming down more? 17 18 Eighteen dollars, you could try it down here, but a little bit sketchy. Eighteen, eighteen forties. Come on, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take less share size. I can't even take it way up here right now. It's right there. Eighteen dollars is support. Eighteen dollars to nineteen dollars. Look at that. Oh, 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 man, that one would have got me right there. That was such a killer, killer stock, man. Look at that, 18 to 19. Be bold, monkey, on a very good setup. Yeah, look at it. All the way up right there. Look at that pullback. Beautiful, beautiful little pullback. People still short selling on this thing, though, I see. Here we go. What is going to happen? W and W S T A F three eighties. Oh, okay, it came down three eighties. I'm waiting for it to like slow down, and I'm missing out on all this action here. Eighteen eighties, eighteen sixties, eighteen thirties. Man, a lot of people taking, uh, adding into a position on this thing down into $18. Starting at $18.90, adding into the $18 right there, it looks like. $18. Or is it coming down? Yeah, they're adding into this thing. Look at this. Somebody's taking a whole heck of a lot of profit on this thing. Someone's profit, profit, profit. And then after they get almost done with their shares, they just dump them into the market there. There it goes. 1750. 1730s. Oh my gosh. 1750. 15. 
15 dollars i'm looking for 15 still i should do a starter position here i'm gonna take less shares here 1750 1730 coming down still man Coming, coming down. 1690s. Oh my gosh. 1724s. 1734. Coming down, locking up into a hold. I can't believe I'm taking this thing all the way down there, man. 1720s. 1724. Come on. Seventeen twenty-four. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it, man! I I got it, man! I got a whole dollar! I got a whole freaking dollar, man! I should have got twenty dollars out of that play right there. I, I should have got $20 out of there, man. I got in. I added to my position. I was going to add down into $15, believe it or not. But, oh, man, I did it, man. Monkey, we love you. I did it. I got a whole dollar out of that thing, man. I killed it. I, I, could, I should have got 20 bucks out of there, but you guys seen what happened. Oh my gosh, look at that. Nice comeback, man. I got it. I, I was going to try to add down into 15, but I just, uh, man, I was, I, I get worried on those add into trades right there. Look at that, all the way back up. I hope you guys took that trade right there and held on longer than me. That was worth about every dollar. You got a dollar a share on that play. A dollar, dollar. Monk, I'm trying to move in the ghost town. Uh, come on, bro. PJ, we're going to get there, man. We're working each and every day. Man, look at that. Boom. All the way down. I wish I could have held a little bit longer. I got a dollar, man. I got a whole dollar. Green trade on there, though. So, let's see. Let's get back over to MRIN. This one's giving us some money out here. We'll see. What are we seeing right now? It's showing a little bit more strength out here again. MRN is a runner. Keep a watch on MRN. Watch the news on MRN. It was $4. Yes, money grab. Absolutely. I liked my trade. I just don't like how I exited. I hate how I exited. Look at this. Look at this thing coming back up here. What a powerhouse, man. Gonna leave an open door on MRN for 1570 back to the 1880s. That's what I'm kind of looking for. Look at XELA is all the way back up to 216. BLIN is right down on the support level, which is 583. 583 on BLIN right there. WNW coming back around MRIN. I missed all the good action on it. Breathe when you trade, Monk. Yeah, I needed to breathe, man. I just wasn't sure. I knew I was adding into $15. I just was getting a little bit. I thought I was going to have 100 shares. I was going to lose 100 bucks. And then I was going, ah, oh, should I really do it? And then I was going, oh, I have a chance to get out for plus 10 cents there. And I took it. I took it, took it, took it. Ugh. I hate when I do that. I should have never, never done that. So let's see what happens. It's building a little bear flag here. It's, uh, I mean, it's building a little flag here. I don't know if it's a bear flag or what. Has lots of support, has lots of resistance up towards $19. If this gets up over $19, which is that high up there, I think it could possibly go higher now. So up over 19 could be a trade for me here. KTRA, little volume and push here. Yep, KTRA, 280s, KTRA. I just don't think it's going to get back above $3.30, but it does have room. It could make it retest a thirty uh, or $3 up there. Retest a three. Either believe in your uh, believe in your calls or you don't. Yes, I, I believed in my call. I just did not accept it. 
I just wasn't willing to accept it. I'm getting in up over. Look at this first one minute candle to make a new high is going to be up over $18. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to start trading with 20 shares today so I feel better about it. $18. Come on. Here comes some volume. Oh, a lot of sellers sitting there. Look at that volume at $18. There it goes. Getting through the 18 a little bit, going up again. Man, I wish I would have took it right there again. $18, 1760s. $17.94, $18. I think this is an okay entry right here for the push to 19 18 to 19 Good little profit right there. But BLIN, I hope you guys took that. That was a good little call I just called out right here. 585s, 583s, all the way up to $6 now. And this one's moving. Moving, moving, moving. So MRIN, $8 to $18 to $19. BLIN is doing a red to green move. The open price is sixteen fourteen. Could be a fake out breakout there. Here we go, man. Yeah, BLIN, man. I'm going to get something today. I'm telling you, man. We are going to get it. We are going to get it. Look at that trade. I was in. I had a seventeen twenty four average. Whole dollar of profit there. Just need to be a little bit more confident. A little more confident. ST Rolex did a beautiful call on MEDS though. That 820s all the way up into the 870s up there. Beautiful, nice, and perfect, man. So many great calls in this live stream. CPOP, look at it. CPOP Learning Trader was calling this one out. Locked up in a halt. Locked up in a halt. I could take this actually. Five times seven. I could take 10 shares on this. 10, 10 shares. So this should come out of the halt here pretty quick. We'll see what happens on this. I'm not real good at it, but MRIN, XELA, all those stocks are moving up a little bit. ATHE trying to pop back up here. We'll see if it makes it. MRIN, look at it. Made $5 on BLIN, only took 50 shares though. It's Sicilian, there you go, right there. That's a beautiful trade. It's another good trade right here where it's sitting at. Right here, this 590, and then hopefully it gets up through this and goes up into the 635s up there. This is not a bad little trade right here. At 589, 590, I don't take this sort of trade though, but it is a good, good trade. I mean, an okay setup. I'm just not taking that one. CPOP was risky, but made $100 on it. Interbus, yes. Thank you for subscribing. Test, test. Test, 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 yes. I need to find my logo today and check it out. Anyways, let's get this money. CPOP, we'll find out. Here we go, 707. This is going to come out of the hole. I'm actually only going to take five shares because this stock can move so much. I don't want to risk more than $50 on this, so five shares would be about it. Let's go see if this thing can make it to $100 up there. MRIN still holding the $18, but looking a little scary and sketchy. And CPOP should come out of the halt at 10.08 and 2 seconds. Hitting the like button. Thank you, Rocky Trades. I'm trying to talk quieter. I'm sorry that I talk so loud sometimes. I'm talking quiet, quiet, quiet. Here we go. Just looking for a little washout down to the $59, $60 possibly. Here we go. Is it going to come out of the halt or is it a 10 minute halt? What is happening? Should be coming out of the halt any second here. Unless it's a 10 minute halt. 10, 10 minute halt. So you guys know MEDS does have some support down here. You could do a starter position on MEDS at 750, 770, 750 add down into the 720s down there you ain't too loud do you i know uh day before one one put, put it at 7245 7246 7245 7246 and then just sell on the way up or something and then put my sell my sell target 
Man, that's a probably a great idea. Davey411, thank you. I should do that. Should I do that? 45, 46, and then just sell. That's a great idea. Put my limit order in ahead of time right there. That is a great, great idea. Is it going to wash out? I, I like to watch the price action before I jump in, but that's definitely a good one right there for the push all the way to $100 up there. I don't know. MRIN, press it for press of 20. Yep, hopefully it does. I'm looking forward to get right up over that 1850 up there, and I'm going to try to take it too myself. BLIN, this one, look at this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. CPOP, ATHE, this one's looking better. You did try it down here. This is a learning trader. I think this is a better entry on here unless you're still in and added to your position. This is an okay entry on ATHE right here at the 204s for the push up into the 215s up there. That's a that's not a bad little trade there either. C L I N C P O P. No worries, Paul the Weld. A T H E but under the V W A P. Yeah, A T H E. Look at that. That was a good one, man. We got it. J W. Be careful. Yeah, B B B careful on M R I N, man. Be careful. Look at this. Look at M E D S popping back up here. Looking good. The seven seventies all the way up to seven nineties. Uh, ATHE looking a lot, lot better now. Looking a lot, lot, lot better. Locking up, locking up. Oh, it looked like it was going to lock up into a halt here. ATHE popping up there. Looking good, looking powerful, looking nice. ATHE. ATHE has a 15 million float here. We'll see what's going to happen on here. CPOP is still in a halt. Here we go. 24, 23, 21. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's why I, I'm, I'm trying to get in here. I'm thinking about getting in 220s. 220s. I wanted to get a better entry right there, but we'll see what happens here. 219, 215, 220s. Come on. Man, I I wish I was in this right now. I just wish I would have hit the bid or hit market there. Look at this. It's trying to find support here. This is support right here to me, but it may wash out down to the 209s also. So be careful down there. Oh my gosh, come on, man. Come on, what is wrong with me? Why am I not taking this? 220s, ATHE, man, what a good little trade right here. I just hesitated right on out of that. Oh, 218 to 223 so far. 218 to 223. Come on. Let's go. Look at this thing struggling right here, though. 218, 223. I was thinking 213 or so. Yeah, look at this. That's what I was trying to get in at 217, and it came right on down to there and did not fill me. I was trying to get it there. But look at this now. It's getting up over all the way up. Beautiful trade on ATHE right here. Beautiful little trade from the 220s, I think, up to the 250s. Myself, that's what I was looking for. 218 to 250. I want it again on ATHE right there. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh there's a CPOP out of the halt. CPOP out of the halt, man. CPOP out of the halt. We'll see what happens. What the heck, man? This thing is confused. Is it locked up in another halt or what? ATHE, I missed out on that trade there. But anyways, look, if I would have put my order there, would I have got filled and then sold up towards the top? 
ATHE, I hope you guys took this. I mean, remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. And halted again on the downside. Man, the stock market today is a little bit tough out here. So, do you guys see uh, BLIN? I still like it right there by that 585s, 583s there. But I would be taking profit at 595, six dollars up to the 620s, maybe even the 640s. Look at this, ATHE. ATHE, congratulations everybody that took that. A beautiful little trade right here. Beautiful, beautiful trade. 218 to 228. Taking profits, still going up. Has room up to the 250s. May even go higher than that. I think it can get up to $3 actually. $3, $3 today. Look at MRIN trying to hold right there. Was distracted, missed the sell on CPOP. Oh man, day before 1 1. I hope you got it, man. I don't know. ATHE, this is a beautiful trade. It was a beautiful trade. 220 to 230, and now you're holding on to half of your shares for the move up to the 250, maybe even $3 up there. How nice is that? How, how nice is that, man? B-L-I-N, look at that. I hope you guys had took this one too. So we've seen B-L-I-N, we've seen A-T-H-E, all green trade so far. That was a little green trade from the 585s up to the 595, 605, and then hopefully higher up there. It's going higher. EXPR is running the, 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 the POC tube, the POC tube, man. Is as uh, so another stock I'm looking at all out ATHE, ATHE, good job, Sterling. Great, great, uh, great, great job. That's another thing on ATHE. Look at this all the way up right there, has room up to three dollars up there. One stock I'm going to tell you about CUEN, CUEN is popping up here. Here we go, 750, uh, eight dollars, 100 shares. Here we go on this one. I missed ATHE. It has room all the way up to two fifty, and then three dollars. I think ATHE can make it up to three dollars there. So, just so you guys know, keep an eye on MEDS. Yeah, I'm watching MEDS. Also, looks like it may go into a halt on the upside. Look at that trade right there. Boom. It really did not have a lot of. Oh yeah, right here. Boom, and then right there the rest. Look at this one. So there's a couple stocks. I'm watching CUEN, but I want it up a little bit higher over the 750s before I start looking for a trade. ATHE went all the way up to 734 so far. Is it going to go higher? I think so. Monkey $100 trade MES. The micro mini futures on Ninja Trade. Can we dance? Good job, Paul Brovo. Yes, we're going to be dancing here pretty quick in a little bit. I just got to get this show on the road. I got to make some money. I took one little baby trade on MRIN, which I'm looking at again here. Look at this. Boom, not a trade yet for me. I think a washout down to the $15 though could be a good little trade. So MEDS is getting ready to set up. Let's go watch CPOP out of the halt if it comes out here. 13 should come out of the halt at 10 18 and 36 seconds meds 822 is a key area sterling's in needs to break and hold check marks missing i know i missed out my my trade was athe that was it right there and mrin i really missed out on some trades there too so let's go. We're going to find something out here. I just haven't seen nothing that was too good. GameStop is moving up too. Game, game, GameStop. So this should come out of the halt in about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to get over to MEDS if it can get over the 822s up there. Brian, you are seeing it. I don't want to say it too much. It's bumming out Monk when we get too many of the army on our trades. No, I love the army on all the trades. I want you guys to be on every single one of the trades there. There is, I want you guys to do the best you can. I want us to get in there and get this money, man. So there's 65. I'm thinking about taking this. 
I don't know, maybe right here by this level. If it came down to $60, I think I'll possibly take it down there. $60. Maybe you could do a starter at 66 here if you wanted to. MEDS is popping up there. If it gets up a little bit more, you could do a starter at $66. This thing has lots of room, lots of money on it all the way up. ATAT -AT is dipping back down. I don't trust it as much when it's dipping back down like that. Here we go. The first one minute candle to make a new high is up over 72.44. So either I'm going to look for this one, MRIN popping back up there too. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Oh, nice trade. I, I seen that trade too. MRIN, I call that the drop fake and pop boom. On the five minute chart, you can see it there, how it stretches down into the VWAP right there on MRIN right here. Look at this. Boom, the drop fake and pop boom. The volume came back in. This kind of isn't the best one. But it's still still a legitimate trade there. If it starts getting back above $18, I'm going to look for a trade on it. Until it does that, I'm not. I'm going to try to trade CPOP though here if it comes down. Good, good trade on MRIN right there. I'm just not seeing the trades. ATAT, you could take it at the 215s again if you wanted to. But I just don't trust it this time around. Please hit the like button. YouTube loves it and I love it too. Here we go, $60. I'm looking for basically $60. I will add into $55. I'm risking about $100 on this. $60. Looking for a washout down to $60 and then add into $55. Add into $55. Here comes GME. Yeah, GME going back up again towards the highs up there, the pre market high, yesterday's high too. I'm just not seeing it. MRIN all the way up. Is it going to get over $18 there? I just don't know on that one. MEDS right up into the resistance. Now you guys can see what's happening. Now if it can hold the 760 support right here, this is actually an okay entry again on that one. ATHE is going all the way up to CPOP. Let's see if it's going to come down. I'm going to start with smaller share size, actually, so I can add down further. I'm in at 63, $63 right there, 63. I'll take a little bit up here by 64. $63, 60 Okay, there we go. Let's get this up back up there. See if it can go up a little bit higher. Just scalping the stock market here, basically, and trying to get that little bit of money. Coming down a little bit more, $60. I took some profit, so now I'm just either this is going to come up. BLIN, I hope you guys took that for that trade there. Look at BLIN right here. A beautiful beautiful trade now it's starting to get a little bit higher cpop i'm adding down into this it's locking up in a halt again it looks like let me get out of this oh no i'm not getting out it looks like it maybe it's going to come up here it could wash way down right here i don't know i wanted to add into 55 I should have took my profit there. It's okay, man. Whatever happens, BLIN is moving up here. Looking good, good, and good now. This one's going up. I'm looking. I'm pretty happy with how I traded uh, CPOP. I'm, I'm trying to follow my plan down into $55. There we go. Let's get this money. 406, 6 to 8, 150. 
B L I N. Look at this thing go, man. B L I N. I hope you got. I don't take it off of here. I see the trades down here. I just don't take them that much. I need to start taking them a little bit more. Yeah, B L I N. Look at that thing, man. Six eighteen. The open price is 614. Oh my gosh, that was a good trade right there in itself. 614 is the open. It came right down to 614 and held up right there. A good little trade right there too. Man, I am hesitating so bad today, man. I am hesitating so, so bad. That was a beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. ATHE has room all the way up to $253. I'm just not liking the movement too much, but look at this. Look at that trade. 614. Is it going to hold the 614s again here? We'll find out here in a minute. This one's very whippy. You have to be very, very careful about this one. 628. Here we go. 630. Here we go, man. BLIN is below VWAP special. Yeah, it was the W right there. Beautiful trade right here is what I was seeing. Easy trade right there. Same thing with CLOV right now. You could take that one off the bottoms also. Let's go. Let's get it. ATHE all the way back up to 240. Man, I am just doing dump truck moves in these last couple days. I have not been trading right. I just don't know what has gotten into me, man. What is going on? ATHE all the way up, has room all the way to $3, ATHE. CPOP coming down a little bit. When does this come out of the halt? In a little while, in a few minutes there. VLINW called, no one yell at me. Yep, VLIN, I called it a long time ago. I called it back here at the 585s over and over and over again. There's a lot of trades people call out and a lot of tra trades people miss out on. And I called MEDS at 770 right there for the retest to 780s, possible adding down to the 740s. I called ATHE at the two, uh, 220s, 215s right there. That was another trade. So many good trades. Learning Trader called out a few good trades out there. Rolex, John Wick, Paul DeBald, Michael and Grecia, Albert Hicks, uh, uh, Sterling, Kizbiz. Everybody's called out great, great trades. That's what I'm proud about here. Here we go, 612. This is another entry for BLIN right here, but I have to stay with CPOP because this one's getting ready to come out of the halt and I gotta be ready for it. Nope, in about at 28, yeah, 28 and six seconds in about another minute here. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen. I may risk a little bit more. ATHE BLIN off the 612s right there is a good entry. Back up to the 630s, just a scalp little trade right there. Not bad, not bad at all. The plague shot has affected your trade. Maybe the plague shot has affected my freaking trading, man. What the heck has gotten into me? Seriously, I just don't know. SM, oh man, okay, so let's get back over to CPOP and see what's going to happen. Like I said, I was going to add down into $55. Hopefully it doesn't come no lower than that, but we'll find out here in a bit. $66. I wanted to sell at $65. We'll find out what's going to happen here in a minute. Here we go. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. I want to add at at. I wanted to add at fifty-eight, fifty-five dollars down here. I kind of have a high entry right there. Sixty-two thirty. B L I N. I'm trading like garbage out here, man. 
I'm trading BLIN a good trade ATHE all the way up ATHE all the way up there too look at these I'm getting out of this one too I, I I'm doing bad stuff today super bad stuff I see all the trades and I'm just not taking them man that's a red trade I don't even care I, I didn't even follow my plan I didn't follow my plan. Something is going on. What is happening to me out here? I just don't know. Look at ATHE. Now look at this one all the way up. I need to relax. I need to calm down. Just got triggered on MRIN. Oh, MRIN. There you go, Rolex. I like it. And uh, on CPOP, look at this one. That was a good little trade. I should have just held on all the way up to $65. I'm just trading garbage, man. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I don't know. BLIN, I called out every single one of my trades has been green. Look at BLIN all the way up. 615 all the way up to 640. Uh, ATHE all the way up to $3. It has room up to... If it gets over this now, look at this one all the way up. Has room to three dollars. Look at these, man. Dunwick uh, eighteen eighty for me. Good job, M R I N. Some people are taking that trade. Rolex called it right there. Monk, just take a breath and reset. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Here we go. I'm gonna take a trade on A T H E here. I know this is not the best entry now, but there's still room for profit up to three dollars up here. Like I said, two fifty, two fifty seven. I'm I'm looking for two fifty two, two fifty two right here maybe possibly. 252 come on you profit takers right here man this thing is still going higher right there i was kind of looking for 252 to sell at 262 maybe i should have put my order out there i'm a little late for this one now but i still can find some money in this let's see if i get it or not man look at that man there was another trade right here at the 220s i missed out on too here we go, 252, oh, 252, <laughs> 252, come on. 252 let's go let's see what happens here this is kind of a little bit sketchy right here but i'm still taking it man Two fifty two. we'll see if it just comes down from here i do have my support here but we'll see it could come all the way back down to 219 down here and we'll see if it does or if it doesn't 255 okay there we go okay come on let's go let's see what happens up here not letting my trades work out is one of my problems up there so <laughs> 80 shares why do i even buy 300 shares if i'm not gonna let this go this one moves a little bit slower right here moves a little slower here we go 248 247 80 shares. Here we go. Let's see if this thing can get up over that high up there. It needs to get up over the 258s up here. Is it going to get up over 258? I don't know. MEDS is moving up now. Looking pretty darn good up there. Why do you sell in the, I, I know. Well, I like to take that little profit, but on ATHE, it doesn't move very much. Look at uh, MEDS is moving up here. MEDS is moving up, up, and up right there. MEDS, I wish I could go take that one too. 
53. Okay, let's go. So MEDS is starting to move up a little bit. Looking for STAF to get up to $3 up here. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. BLIN finally broke down right there. ATHE could come all the way back down to 220 right there. So that's kind of what I'm not wanting to happen. Here we go. 235. 245. Try, playing right at the top right here. Sometimes I do buy right at the top right here. And this is this is right. You guys see me do this a lot right here. And sometimes the trades don't work out. I'm giving it a little bit more time right here. But I've already gotten out of some of my shares. I'm trading like uh, trying to force a trade out here. But it's okay. It's fine. I think it has room up into the $3. The 350s is up there. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's see what happens. Is the market closed Monday or tomorrow? It's closed Monday. Closed Monday, Monday, Monday. Yes, it is. So tomorrow in the stock market, we're probably going to stay around a little bit longer in the stock market. Maybe we'll stay around all day long. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't want to waste a lot of buying power today either. I want to hold some for tomorrow just in case. We'll see what happens here on this one. 245. Look at the selling pressure coming all the way back down. I'm sure I could add down into 211 and I could bring it back up. But I don't really want to do that too much. What is the other stocks? Yeah, this is basically, this is where you would short sell too. But I'm trying the long because I think this thing can go a little bit higher. And that's kind of what I'm uh, looking for here. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's go. Small position MEDS. I I'm looking for MEDS too. I like it out there. Let's see what else is happening. STAF. This one's kind of popping back up. Look at this. This is the W pattern also, STAF. You could get in at 380 on STAF here. Look at that. STAF, man. Oh, bold move, Rolex. Look at MRIN right down there. It, it came down 1580s down there all the way back up to the 1630s up there. And going, going, going. ATHE. I'm looking to get out for break even on this trade. I'm actually going to add down on this. I know ATHE and STAF move kind of the same. And once they hit their tops, sometimes they just trend down the rest of the day. But I, I'm looking for this to go a little bit higher for today. A little, little bit higher. Let's go. Let's do it. MRIN. Look at that. Boom. 15, 1550s. That was another good little stock right there. Might take a loss and re enter. ATHE coming up, coming down a little bit more. Looking good. I'm not going to make a huge loss out of this. I'm probably going to get out if it comes down. 232. I'll, I'll probably take a little bit of a loss today in the stock market. I'm just not trading that well. Dunwick, never paper hands. Yeah, don't have paper hands. WEI, I hope you guys are looking at WEI also and MRIN. Here we go. Yeah, this is, there is resistance until this gets over this 250. I think it's still going to come down. If I was going to take a trade on this, a new trade, I would have to wait for it to get over this 250. And then I would take a little pullback right there into the uh, thing. Forty seven. Taking a little bit more of a loss right there. Just trying to step out of some of these shares a little bit. Not happy. I, I don't really hold a trade this long. If I'm going to get in this new trade, I should I should have stopped out already and re-entered either down by the 223s or entered when it came back up over the 254s up here. Let's see if it can make it. We'll, we'll find out if it makes it up here. I'm just not real happy about it. 249. There we go. 249. 
250 coming up. I'm down to 20 shares. I had 300 shares of this thing. <laughs> Look at that. C U E N. Yeah, C U E N coming down. The 665s down there. What's going to happen with that one? A T H E. I'm looking for this to go up to $3. Who knows? If it goes up to 3 that's the only spot I'm going to take profit now, or maybe by the 280s. Really messing up my trading today, man. Messing, messing up. A T H E. Rolex, I hope it works. Yeah, look at MRIN. What a beautiful Rolex called out that trade perfectly on MRIN. Thank you, Rolex. Beautiful call, beautiful call. Kind of like Yazboy used to call. Remember uh, the same little things. There's so many traders that come through here and always hang out here and come back around. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh, here this one goes back down. 242 I should have added right there at 245 and then I could have had 250 and that would have been a break-even trade right there but I didn't looking for this to come back up MRIN is still moving still looking good still looking powerful here we go MRIN MRIN man MRIN. I'm, I'm looking for this to come down a little bit, the 1685s, and hold that level. The $17, I'm looking for this on MRIN. I'm thinking about taking this trade on this. We'll see how it works out here. MRIN. There goes ATHE. is going down a little bit more down there. That's fine. I'm just going to add to my position down to the 225s down there. Seventeen oh four. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Seventeen oh six. O R P H. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out just here in a minute. I'm I'm in a trade on MRIN right now, looking for this to come up to like the 1750s if it can. I don't know if it's going to. ORPH, where is that one at right now? I'm not sure where that one is. ORPH. Let me see if I can find that one. Uh, ORPH. Well, what are you looking for on that one? Yeah, <laughs> that's all I trade. Usually all I trade is momentum plays there. So that's kind of what I look for. But at 1699, my trading these last couple days had just been horrible, man. Now I'm just buying anything, anywhere and everywhere. But I think MRIN has room up to the 1770s up there. But it may just come down to, if it comes down to $16, there is going to be some support down there, but I'm not willing to hold it that long. I'm going to kind of add into this a little bit. I'm just kind of really messing up on my trading today. Here we go. 1680s. Uh, ATHE is still trying to hold right there. Looking to add into this. Looking for this to go right up over the $17 to 17 uh 1709 is going to be my first profit target. 1708 right there. Nope, not getting up over 17 again right there. That 1699 right where I entered. You see how it's trying to hold down right there. But it looks like a lot of buyers are coming in. So it's going to make it through it possibly here. 17, 1695. Here we go. Just not sure if it's going to make it here, man. Come on. You can make it. You can make it. 
looking for this to go, but that $17 definitely holding it down right there. ATAT, I'm going to add into my position down there in just a second on that one. ORPH, I'm not looking at it. I'm trying to focus on the two trades I'm in. Just kind of trading garbage setups here. I missed out on all my good setups, and I'm just looking for possibly a home run trade up to $18. That would be super nice for me, but is it going to make it or is it not? Uh, I'm, I'm willing to risk it today, uh, a little bit today, just because I, I'm just so bad at trading today, man. I, I've seen the good entries and I took all the bad entries out there. But look at this one has room up to 18. This one could actually retest 1830s. But the 1750 kind of 1750 to $18 on uh, MRIN. Hut to the moon, man. Hut to the moon. Let's see what happens here. Is it going to bust through or is it not? <laughs> don't ask, don't even ask me why don't even ask me why i did that 1725 1730 oh my gosh a little green trade right there freaking green trade but nothing and nothing fancy nothing good still taking profits too early just disappointed in myself today man my third trade's a green trade, but I'm still in ATHE. We'll see how that plays out. And done with possible. Yeah, look at that. So there was a good little okay trade right here. Just not the best trade. Just taking that little bit of profit. Nice setup off the five minute. Exactly. First five minute calendar make a new high right there. That's exactly what it was. A five minute pullback right there. You've seen the five minute pullback. It really didn't work out as good as I thought it was going to work out. But it did work out a little bit. Let's go look at ORPH out here. ORPH is all the way up. This is the drop, fake, and pop. Boom. I don't like the volume on it. I still think ORPH is going to come back down. You can definitely see what it's worth. It's worth about $7. But I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe it is going to... Uh, ORPH, uh, this would be a little trade down here into the 760s. Yeah, 760s adding down into the 750s down there and then possibly back up there. Let's go. Let's do it, man. MRIN is on crack. Fundamentals are not really tight. Yeah, I'm not even trading. I'm just trading garbage out there. MEDS coming up, up, and up. Have a little bit of buying power left. Orf, Orf is a short sell to me, actually. But and I mean, just in the near, in right now, right, right now. I'm not talking about tomorrow. I'm not talking about the next day. I'm talking about right now. Right, right, right now. This it, this is a long trade right here for this push back to the 790s. But I'm talking about uh, like later on today, this is going to be a short. It's not getting up over $9. I don't think so anyway. Maybe it is. Maybe it, maybe it is. But I don't know. I don't see it. Look at this. Look on MEDS. It keeps coming up, getting rejected right here. Coming down, getting rejected all the way back up. So let's see what happened to ATHE. Going to reduce my risk again right here. There we go. Reducing my risk out here. I'm not going to let this get back down. It's trying to... Uh, 46. I'm all out of that. I think this is basically a short sell until it gets over this 253. That is a red trade right there. I'm going to make this my fourth red trade but it was actually my third trade i took it when it was back there at 257 looking back back and back definitely shorts loading up orph is a short yes i mean for the long term i would keep loading up exactly like that on orph but look at this here's a long trade right here this is a starter long trade 760 i guess i could take it out here i'll show you this trade actually 760 gonna buy right here 
767 i'm in i'm looking for this to come back up to the 780s the 790s right here this is a good little setup right here what happened monk athe i i think it's a short sell it's a short sell until it gets back up over that 253 up there i didn't add because i was trading mrin i was supposed to add at 235 and then i would have a 245 uh 245 average that's why you seen me sell at 245 because i think it's a short sell now it's a short sell it was a long trade back here and then it could have still pushed right here and then it turned into a short trade i would short right here right where i took profits that's where i'd take a short b-l-i-n is coming up b-l-i-n my trades uh switch around all all the time you know, I, I just am trading off the chart. Look at BLIN again. This thing is pretty darn choppy out there. ORPH 267. Uh, 277's my first profit target on here. 277. Look at BLIN is moving up. BLIN. BLIN right there. Oh man, Bell pray for us that day. So I'm green on the day. I'm just not, uh, I wish I wouldn't have took the ORPH trade. I'm going to get out of this one too. I'm not going to get out for a loser though, but I will get out for a winner here. I, I, I think this is a good trade right here. It's just, I don't want to be in something that I have to watch over. I like to watch over my trades if it's a day trade. If it's a swing trade, I really don't care about it, but that's just it. ATHE could trend down the rest of the day down there. And that's what I see on there. 267. Let's get this. 268. There is some more. John Wick told me a strategy to get my average cost down, so I am holding. Oh, man. I see, this is what I did not want to have to come down into was this. But now I'm going to have to add into this one. Oh, my gosh. But this one could be a good winner up back up to the 790s. MEDS is looking like one of the best stocks, but if you are looking for a right now trade, B-L-I-N, right here, 6.30. 6.30 for the push into seven, eight dollars. It may not work out. Maybe it does work out. But anyways, I don't know if it's going to. Tell me a strategy. Yeah, oh man, because Biz prayed for us. That day when it gapped down so hard in the pre-market slayed me. Usually, I never hold overnight. Yes, holding overnight, man. ATHE, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I still see a short trade. If it gets up over this 253, I'm going to take a long trade on it again. I'm actually going to get back in this thing with 200 shares. I'm going to try to hold it up over the up into the 250s this time. I mean 270, 280s this time. I'm not going to not not hold that. But besides that, man, ORPH looking like a good trade. This is a super good trade just for a little scalp money. If you're looking for a little bit of money, uh, ORPH, definitely some good money on it here, but uh, up to the 780s. These are the types of trades I need to start waiting for and taking. The only reason I don't like this is the volume. The volume just isn't, but you guys know where it's going to bounce to. It's going to come right up to the 782s, and if it gets over that, maybe it gets up into the $8. If it gets over 8 then maybe we'll start seeing some action up to the 850s. But right now, just this little bit of money right here, there's nothing to hate on that. And same thing with BLIN. This little money right here, 630 all the way up, good, good money on that. I hope you guys took that too. Some great little money trades out there. Great, great, great little money trades. Monk, ATHE, wedge pattern. I know, about to, but that's what I'm looking for right there. I wanted to pick the direction. I don't want to wait for and have to get a 50-50. I'm going to decide the direction. No, I wait for it to pick the direction and then I get in there. I know it's already picked a direction, ATHE. It's already on the direction there. 
It's already has went up today, but it was a little confused at the market open and then people start picking it up. So this is actually, I would say this is a short sell, a short, short, short until it gets over this 253, then it will be a long trade. ORPH, let's get this one. Oh, it did go up to 77. I just need to put my first profit target in there. 276 and then 286 right here there we go okay so there are some good trades out there blin did you guys take this are you riding this all the way up 850s up there well i hope no one goes bankrupt because of me ofc i guess we go bankrupt together because i take my calls yes i that's what it's out about here you see every single call i take and every single call I don't take. I, I, I like to shout out every single call because you should be trading your own plan and planning your own trade. Nobody should take anybody's calls out here. It's not what you should do. You should never, ever, ever take not one person's call. It needs to be your own call. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why I tell you the calls and then you make the choice from there. I don't want anybody to ever, ever, ever take a call out here. Never, ever, ever. Currently watching Paint Dry with M-E-D-S. Uh, Sterling says V-R-A-R, IPO open and halted upside. B-R-A-R has halted up there. So B-L-I-N, A-T-H-E, here it goes. It's starting to come back up there. Don't ever take anybody's calls. Please don't take anybody's calls out there. Here we go. O-R-P-H, looking for it to come back up. M-R-I-N, B-L-I-N, look at that. That was a beautiful 6.30 to 6.70, 40 cents. 40 40 cents on a million shares you could trade a lot here comes athe trying to come back up this would be a short sell i would actually add into the 265s 267s on the short right here but i'm going to do it man if they are blindly following you it's their own fault we should all have our own strategy even when we are in trades that yes you should all have exactly exactly you never 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 want to take somebody else's trade that is just ridiculous man that is ridiculous i hope you guys know that because uh you never know snowflakes melt when it's hot kid you guys know that and who knows you don't know where they're exiting you don't know what their plan is what they will do in circum different circumstances that's why you have to take your own trade you guys basically know everything I do in every single circumstance because I show you right here. Here we go. Here we go. Coming back up. 254, 255. Going to try it again right here. I'm going to take 200 shares though. I don't want to uh, take too many. 254. Oh man, come on, man. Give me my trade right here. Oh my gosh, John Wick, I'm with you, brother. Ride or die. Look at this, man. Look at that trade right there. I hope you guys got that one too. I hesitated again on this. So this would be an add into short sell right there, but I'm saying it has room up to $3 right there. So some trades just don't work out, but then I could have got back in, but I missed my entry. I let it go by without me. But I'm going to take the second entry right here. 259, 260s. I'm I'm what I'm doing, I notice, is I'm hesitating out here. Look at I was supposed to jump in at 259 right here. 259. I don't have charts, but I do what everyone else is doing. Yes. I don't even have charts. I just do what everybody else is doing. That's what everybody does out here anyway. 259. Let's get it. 258. Here we go. Going to try this again out here. ORPH is still hanging out there. 259, I'm supposed to get in. Big price, the MEDS, be careful. Yeah, MEDS keeps going up. Support resistance, 760 to $8. 760 to $8. 760, it's coming down to right now on MEDS. 
So here we go, man. Look at this. Look at this trade right here, man. It's doing the same old song and dance. Look at MEDS just broke down. So maybe do you take that? What is happening? I need to look at this. MEDS. Uh, ATHE is one of those stocks that moves a little bit slower. Sometimes I get stuck. Look at that. I hope you guys took that trade. That's the trade I talked about. I hope you guys got it too. <clears throat> Come on, man. It's 590. Yeah, look at that, man. Look at this. All the way up to $3. Still moving up. Still going. I can't believe this. Look at that. I'm going to take a little trade on this. I'm jumping in on these tops up here. 270. Still going up. Two seventy. Two seventy one. I'm trying it way up here now. 270. Oh my gosh. Now it's going to come right down on my head again. 270. I, I got FOMO, but I, hopefully it will work out. I think it has room up to the $3. 270. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Lots of selling on this thing. I'm going to try to add down into the 260s. I'm going to try to get this thing 260 down here. Let's go. Let's get it, man. What do I need to in order to join Rocky Trades? You can get right in there. There's a lot of people in there right now. We're starting at the ground floor. We're going to go all the way up. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Meds, nice job. I hope you guys got ATHE. I'm taking the high entries, of course. This stock moves a little bit slower than usual. I'm looking for it to go up into the 290s, the $3 up here. Hopefully it can go. I'm willing to risk it this time and not miss out on this. 270s, uh, 280, 278. Here we go, 278, 282. Let's go. I'm I'm out at the two. That's exactly the perfect trade right there from 255 right here. I don't know why I keep buying all the way up here. I'm trading like garbage, but I think this thing still has room to the upside up here. That's why I'm getting in up to the three dollars up here. I know 280 between 280 and 320. That's where I think it can go to. I know I'm buying right at the uh, 270s right here. I bought after all the top right here. Here comes the 260s down here. I'm going to do my last ad down here at two. Uh, I think it's going to be 255. 255 down here. Hmm, did I just see Monk buy at the top? That never happens. I always buy by the top. Every single one of my trades are going to be uh, short sells also. Like I said, you could have started a short sell and added into the fake out breakout up here. But I'm looking for it to go higher here. I told you the trade was at 254 right over this high right here. That's what I said. I know I did. 250, 265. I'm going to try to add one more time into this. Here we go. Two sixty-five, two sixty-seven, two seventy. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens here. I'm willing to risk a little bit more today on this. This one moves a little bit slower out here, so I'm just gonna take it. I know I watched this stock gain 40% for where I called support, but I'll get in now. Yes, I called support. You guys seen it way down there. I think it has room. I don't care if I'm buying towards the tops up there. It's just that's what I do sometimes. Here we go. Here we go, man. Adding down 250 is my next add down here. 245 actually 245 is going to be my next ad let's go bet let's get this money i'm adding down here 85 percent of the time i'm going to get out for a break even trade right here i may be risking a little bit more but that's what i'm going to do 
Good night, man. M-E-D-S. Yeah, a little bounce at 710 right there. Uh, Paul DeBald, I think, is calling that M-E-D-S right here. So many good stocks out here in the stock market. M-E-D-S, 710 all the way back up. A-T-H-E, we'll see what happens here. All the way up, parabolic. I should be your stop. 240 should be my stop. Yeah, maybe it will be down there. I, it's the beginning of the month, so I'm willing to uh, take a little bit more bigger risk right here. I should have stopped a long time ago. I'm, I'm way off of my game right here, but this is going to be definitely a possibility. I may hold this one all the way down to $2. I may, I may add into the $2 on this, believe it or not. I may hold this one through power hour and keep on holding this keep on holding this one you can't get in and out without fast with tos yes mrin mrin is looking like another good trade out here mrin the 1670s right here jumping that's the thing i've had a little bit of problem with i have not been jumping that fast 1670 have you guys noticed i've been hesitating on my jumping 1670 up to the 17 dollars right here on mrin mrin 250 let's get this all the way up all the way down man two dollars i'm gonna try to add down into two dollars how much uh buying oh yeah i have enough too here we go i have enough 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 isn't that called hold and hope? No, I, I, I think it's going to bounce off the $2, the 190 Worst case scenario, I have to hold this a few days and it comes back up here. I'm going to get it. Look on the daily chart. I'm going to show you guys the daily, daily, daily chart. Look at this. A lot of support up here. This one does come all the way back down. I think eventually it's going to come back up here. I have a 255 average now. <laughs> I have a 255 average, man. And this thing is going straight on down. My next ad is going to be right down here at 220. 225 is my next ad down here now. 225, man. 225 or 215 i'm gonna add one more time for the drop fake and pop boom now i will dig myself out of the hole yeah i'm looking for 260 see if this thing can come back up here i like it i started a little early the, you guys know sometimes on my short trades i start a little early also look at this coming down down and down looking nice i may hold this one a little bit longer because i only have 200 shares and that's only 500 dollars. so i'm okay holding this one i am definitely okay let's go let's get it b-l-i-n coming back down you could try a shot on that one m-r-i-n i hope you guys took that that was a good little jump spot right there hopefully you guys took this for the breakup at, at 1670 as you guys can see look what i'm doing out here 200 255 Let's go. Let's do it. W pattern on MRIN. Yeah, MRIN. That was a beautiful call right there. You guys see, I'm just trading like garbage recently. I'm going to look for this to come back up to the 260s down there. If it comes back down to 235, 225, I will add to my position. I'm going to try to get my average as close to $2 as I can. $2. This is this is going to be a very very valuable learning experience on this one. Very very valuable. This is perfect. I bought you in MRIN. I hope you guys took it at the 1670s. That's what I called right there. 1670s to 1740s, a beautiful call and this one's going up up and up right here. Up up and up, man but uh look, look at athe i bought at the tippy top i should have stopped out a long time ago but you guys see what i'm doing 235 245 235 
235. Oh my gosh, I was going to add right there at 235. I would have had a 245 average. That's better. I need it to come down. If it comes down to like the 228s, that's where I want to add at. But I think I should add at 235 right here. This is a good add spot, man. And then 245 would be my break even on it. 245 and then I could take a little bit of profit as it was coming up now I have a 255 it's not the best right there don't worry I'll be rooting for you yeah look at MRIN you got to be careful on that one that was a little bit of oh here it comes 233 233 come on Two thirty four, two thirty two, two thirty one, two thirty one, two thirty three. Man, I'm looking for this thing right here. Oh, here we go. Come on down a little bit more. Man, I want to add right here, but I'm... Um, there's 231. Come on. 231. I added right there. I have a 242 average now. 242 average. Let's go. Let's see what happens on this. Man, I'm risking a little bit more money. You guys know. I got one more ad left in me. I have $800. Yeah, I have uh, one more ad left in me here. Let's get it, man. This could be it. This could be my biggest winner. It could also be a big loser right here. Look at the five minute just selling, selling, selling pressure all the way down. You guys know it has room. My next ad is going to be by 212. 212 is my next, next ad on this. Man, I wish I wouldn't have added so quick, but $212, 2 ATH does not look good anymore. No, but I'm pretty sure. I'm 85% sure I'm going to get out for a break-even trade. We'll see what happens. If I have to hold this till tomorrow, it's okay. It's fine. C-U-E-N-S going to stop me out. I made my own decision. I'm going to add one more time down here. Look at that short sell, man. That's the thing when you're scalping the stock market. That's why. I wish I would have took my trade back there. But I'm happy with this trade. I'm telling you that right now. Happy, happy, happy with this trade. 242, 245. I will reduce my risk if it comes back up. I'm looking for 255 up here for my profit target. Oh no, what I did, you came into a beautiful trade, man. A beautiful, beautiful trade. I'm telling you that right now. If it comes all the way back down, I'm gonna hold on to this one. I'm not selling this one until it comes back up. So I may have to wait till the 180s to do my last ad. That's gonna have to be it. 180, I will get a 210 average if I can get my last ad at 180 down there. Get out, Monk. No, I'm, stay I'm staying in this one. I'm looking for, I think it's going to go up to 350 in the next couple days. That's what I think. <clears throat> so let's go, man. Let's get it. Add, add, add at 220. Get your average to 235 and take it off. Yeah, I, I'm going to do 180. 180 is going to be my next ad down there. I have to add at 180. If I had more buying power, I would add at two, uh, 212 would be my next ad. But now I'm going to skip the 212 ad, and I'm just going to add at 180. 1180. 
Look at this, man. Look at that thing go down, down, and down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's going to be some long-term investors getting in on this. You got balls, boss. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. I think it has room up. I have it on my chart already. Has room up to $3 to the $3.50. It did not make it there yet. It's probably going to, who knows if it's going to make it there or not. I'm not real worried about it. This one doesn't move super fast. It did come all the way down from 270. I think it's at least going to retest the 255s. If it retests the 255, that's going to be a $40 trade right there. Right, right there. So let's get it, man. Let's go look at MRIN. Hopefully you guys jumped quick. Hopefully you guys jumped fast because that was the trade right there at the 1670s all the way up to 1740 up there. So ATHE, we'll see how this works out. It's coming back up. 242. Uh, 242 is my average up here. 180 is going to be my add. And if I have to add again in the next couple days, I'm going to add all the way back down into $1. $1, believe it or not. I'm going to try to get like 3,000 shares. I'll have about 3,000 shares. My average will be about $1.30. $1.30. Let's go. What, W2F, you lose at 748, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being part of the team. If it comes back up to the 249s, I'm going to reduce my risk and take a little bit of profit, and then I'll, I'll stop out. We'll be by break even. Buy the dips of the next dip. Yeah, I'm going to keep buying the dips all the way down, all the way down into my support lines. 91 cents would be the last one. I don't think it gets below a dollar 30 myself. But look at this thing, man. Have you ever seen a stock go this far down? Yes. That's what's so good about the short side of the market. You don't have to worry about volume. ATHE, look at that thing, man. All the way down. Look on the 15 minute chart. I'm going to show you. 15 minute chart. Look at that. Boom, engulfing red candle. It should retest the 242s at least. It should retest the 242s. Thanks for the community, everyone. I made my money for the day and I'm out of here. Stay strong, Monk. I got it, John. I got it. I'm not real worried about it. It's not really that big a deal on this stock. I have a 242 average and I'm going to add one more time down at the 180s. 180s. To, oh, should I add at two? Uh, if I could, add, if I added at two twenty, I would get a two thirty two average. You're right. I could add at two twenty and then just do my last add when it comes down. Let's see. Now let's get those likes to a hundred. Yes, please get the likes to a hundred. I'm not real worried about this one. This could turn into a little bit of a swing trade. I got about. Uh, Six, I got about $1,500 into this trade right now. I'm going to put our, what is that? 400 times 242. 400 times 242 equals $968 I have into this. I'm going to do my last ad right down here, either by the $2. I want this to make a low. I want it to make a higher low right here. And then it's going to pop back up and I'm going to get out by the 230s, 240s up there. Right, but you have to wait for the volume built. The big winner on the come up. Yeah, you got to get it, man. I need to start getting in on the bottoms. Uh, your guys are right. But anyways, I'm happy with my trade right now. There is going to be some money out here. Let's go. So PLES. Look at this short sell. This is a short sell right here. 2367 short. 2367 PLSE. PLSE. 2367. All the way back down to 2250. 2250. My God, I love seeing you go in with bigger size, but come on, this started because you chased it. Yeah, it started, Bob Bush, exactly. It started because I chased it. You are absolutely right. But with a big enough account, 
you're you're not you're not worried about this this has nothing uh, this will nothing will happen to this you're going to be absolutely fine i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how this is going to work yes i have a little bit more money tied up it's coming down but we'll see what happens Ooh, did did crack seven so here we go man i gotta add at 180 180 to two dollars is where my next ad's gonna be 180 to two wish you could hold like this when you're up instead of getting out i know i need to start doing that also i i, I traded athe like garbage today but in the end i'm gonna end with a green trade on athe i am not taking a red trade at all it's the beginning of the month why should i it's the beginning of the month bam athe -E. same old song and dance this is to me look where i started this position at i started this position at two dollars and seventy cents right at the top look at this coming down coming down gonna add right down into this gonna take either a forty dollar or it's gonna be a twenty dollar winner or a sixty dollar winner or if I have to add one more time, it's going to be an $80 winner on this stock. $80, man. Let's go. Cut your lot. No, I'm holding. This ain't. I'm not cutting this. It's, there's no way I'm not cutting. I'm going to leave this open when I leave today. We'll come back for power hour. We'll look at it. The worst that could happen is 400 shares. I'm risking $1,000. If this went all the way back to zero, I am risking a uh, thousand bucks, man. Four hundred times two forty, uh, nine hundred and eighty-seven. Your plan was to get in at. I know my plan was to get in at two. I I had a good plan right there, but oh well, that's fine. That is fine. Get your profit from CVM. CVM is moving up. Let's go look at MRIN coming back down. You guys know this $15 down here is a good support level on MRIN. MEDS, look at that. MEDS is a beautiful little trade. Also right here by the 7 to the 660s down here. This is support for the retest of $8 on MEDS. ATHE, we're going to find out what happens on this. Let's go look at STAF. Came all the way back down. Look at the short side of the market. Beautiful, nice, and perfect. Oh man, that came down to two. Two twelve was going to be my next ad. Twelve, uh, twenty-two, thirty-two, four, twelve, and then I would have a twelve, a two twenty-seven average. Never stop adding. Take her to the grave. Yeah, I'm going to man. I'm taking her straight on down. It's never going to stop. I think it's going to get back up at least retest the 245s up here. I wish my account was a little bit bigger. I would add at the 220s right here, but I can't. I can't do it right now. I got to let this come down. Let it find its support. I do have support at 215 right here though. Let's go. No big deal. Let, let's see what happens if monk would buy support occasionally the l wouldn't be so bad i know that's what i need to do so uh i'm going to start doing that going into next week it's just really hard for me to do that if we do the l the uh the trade down there or if i if i do the support trade it's not gonna work out if i get into it if you guys get into it, yes, it will work out. But if I get into it, it's just going to go down every time. That's why I have to trade momentum right now. I have to trade momentum. Here we go. 215. Come on. Give me one more spike down right here. Let's go. 215. 214. Here we go. Two twelve right here. There's no momentum in eight. No, it's not momentum. It's kind of like a swing trade now. Uh, MRIN. If you guys are looking for a trade, MRIN has a trade right here. Sixteen seventy again. 
get in instead of the 17 uh, 1670 for the push over 17 dollars that's a jump quick trade right there 1680 all the way up into 17 dollars you may have to add at 1660 if it comes back down a little bit but jumping now 1680 up into 17 right there there you go that's a good little trade it goes down when we get in too but the risk is a lot smaller when you get in i know man the risk is a lot smaller you are right you are right so 1680 here we go so let's say i started at 1680 i'm gonna add at 1660 right here so 1660 i have a 1670 average taking profit at 1680 up here there's 1680 here we go all the way up take your profits out as it comes up here hopefully it goes over 17 dollars now you could keep your stop at 1670 or you could put it down here at 1658 1658 man let's go oh, i don't trade it part of the portfolio man i cannot believe i'm not doing this look at mrin right there what a beautiful trade right here beautiful beautiful trade man thanks for backing me up bob yeah look at that that was a good little trade for the push into hopefully it gets over the 1750 and then starts running all the way back up to 18 dollars up there ATHE. oh man 215 coming back up 240 this thing may see 260 actually 260 right down on my support i wish i had the uh account size to add right there and to uh 27 would be my average and then i could take profit i think it's going to come down maybe one more step that's why i'm waiting down by uh, two dollars let's get it let's do it 227 would be my average but my average is way up here by 242 now been moving all this time thank you for subscribing iron attic monk holding two on simple you might you might get a bounce yes man i know i'm gonna get a bounce but look at mrin i hope you guys are in this thing look at this look at this look at this look at this man boom man i Sixteen nineties. Here we go. Up over this level. If it makes it up over seventeen, this thing may see seventeen fifty up here. May see eighteen dollars. I'm gonna take a couple shares of this thing. This thing is very very sketchy though. Let me get in here. Sixteen eighties. Sixteen eighties. I'm trying to get in right here. We'll see what happens. Man, that's a good entry right there. A beautiful little entry right there, man. Beautiful, beautiful entry for the pushover seventeen fifty. Monk calling too. I hope so. I hope so, man. I hope it bounces up there. I hope it gets back up to the two forty twos, the two fifties up there. Today, I just haven't been trading that good. There we go. I'm not going to take any of my profit right there, though. I'm going to try to let this thing go up a little bit higher, up to the 1750s, $18 up here. If it happens to come down, that's fine, too. I'm in at $1683, looking for this to go up a little bit more. $1683. There we go. Took a little off right there. 1720s there you go beautiful little trade on mrin right there beautiful beautiful little trade man 
I'm in at 1683 looking forward to get up over the 1750 up there if it gets up over 1750 this thing's off to the races 1683 what's the low of that candle 1681 Oh, stopped out. But anyways, there was a good little trade right there. A good little scalp trade all the way up to 1725. That's a green trade there. Oh, there goes ATHE. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go, man. Look at this thing. Welcome. I'm down 125 bucks. It ain't too bad. But I want to get my last ad down here. 212, I should have added down there. 212, 210, 208, 208. 212. Come on. Two twelve. Oh, my gosh. Man, I wanted to get that entry right there. I wanted to get that entry bad. We'll we'll see what happens right here. Man, I could have the first five minute count to make a new high up there. I need to get two twelve, I think. Two twelve. Here we go. Come on down. Man, I missed that entry right there. I needed that entry bad. I needed that. I know it's up at two fourteen, two fifteen, only up a few more cents. But every cent counts on this thing, and I needed to get in at 212 right there. Oh my gosh, I could not do it, man. But let's see if I can get it now. 212. Let's go. Let's see if it's going to do it or not. We'll see what happens out here if it's going to make it. Man, let's get this money, man. Ah, oh, I would have had a 227 average right there. 227. Two twenty seven. Monk, you ain't adding into this. Yes, I was gonna add right there at two twelve was my next add point. Two twelve or the one eighties, but I wanted to add at two twelve and then I would just go, okay, I'll add at one eighties too right there. Man, I really wish I could have added there. I would have a two twenty seven average, but now I'm not gonna get that average. And now it's going to come up to the 228s. That's the VWAP right there. I could get out for break even and then look for my profit as it goes up. Oh, man. But now I have to wait for it to do a full reversal, which I'm, I wasn't really counting on a full, full reversal. But I was just looking for the, oh, man. That, that, I, may, I may be able to get an ad there. Here goes MRIN. You could get back in this thing. MRIN, this is given so much money. 1670s to seventeen dollars. Sixteen seventy to seventeen. Wait, it'll come back to two twelve. I hope so, man. If it does, I'm gonna get it. If it comes back down to two twelve, I will get it. Let's get it. A T H E. Come on down. Two twelve. Yeah. 227 man 
who I, I needed to get my average down to the 228. I guess that's what I'm going to try to do. And then if it keeps coming down, I won't be able to add today, but I could add tomorrow if I wanted to. And that's what I would do. No sense not adding. I needed to add right there at 212. 212 to get my average down here at 228. Man, man almighty, I did, I, the reason I'm not adding how I'm, I want to is because I'm on a small cash account. With a small cash account, you, you really have to pick your spots where I'm going to add. If I add here at 212, I'm going to have to tomorrow possibly add at 180s. But look at that. Look at that thing, man. All the way back up. All the way. On the use limit orders or I lose money. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a trade, MEDS right off the $7 support right there. Thing down 100. That's going to take you two months to make it back. No, it takes me like three or four days. Uh, last month I made, I, I made $200 last month. Last, last month. So I'm still good. I'm still great. Here we go, 212, come on. And this is, this is not going to be a loser. This is going to be a winning trade. Even if I have to add down into $1, I am not going to let this trade be a losing, losing trade. It's not going to be a losing trade. We need more prayer, Chief. Man, I, I wanted, if, if I would have added right there at 212, like I should have, but I just, my buying power is not good. I would only be down nine cents on this stock. And nine cents on this is not bad. Not, not bad at all. Nine cents. Oh, man. Coding music, hacker, chill step. What the heck, man? Let's get this money. Do we see anything else? I got to come back for power hour. So maybe I'll just get out of here before I add too soon to this thing. But I want to add. You guys know where I'm going to add. At the 180s to $2 is my next add. And 212 should be my add too. I'm going to spend all my buying power onto this one. Here we go. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on, man. Oh, man. So close. So, so close, man. Imagine if you stopped at, out at 240. Yeah, I could have stopped out at 240. I could have took a $10 loss, $20. I, I, on 270, I was supposed to stop out at 250. But uh, I'm, I'm going to hold this one. I think it's going to go higher. If you guys are trading anything, it's MRIN. 1680s all the way up this thing's getting ready to bust right here look at this i'm gonna take a couple shares on this just to show you right here boom i'm jumping in 1709 right here looking for this to go all the way up i think it's gonna go to 20 dollars i think this thing's going to 20 17 come on i will add back down into the 1670s though i should have only bought one share let's go Come on. So taking 21 cents a profit right here if I can. And then I'm going to let the rest ride up to the 1750s up there. 1719, 1720. 1719. Here we go. Come on. 1736. I'm stuck to I end the losing trades trying to make them winning trades. Yes, that's what I'm doing too. ATHE. I wish I would have added at 212 right there. 212 would have been a beautiful, beautiful ad right there. Let's go. Let's see what happens. We'll find out what happens on that thing. Here we go. You should be lowering average with those funds. I know. What am I doing doing this? You are right. I should be lowering my average. I just want to show you guys the better trades out here. I'm not going to add now. You are absolutely right, John Wick. Let me... Uh, 
Let me do this real quick. I should be adding into this one. MRIN, that's an add into trade right here. Boom, for the breakover, it's building higher and higher and higher. The next little push, this thing's probably going to go to $20, $19, $20. You don't see trades like this set up every single day like this. MRIN, this is a trade you should be sizing into as it comes down. Keep on adding into the 1650s, adding in, adding in 1650s, 1690s for the break to $20. That's what I need to start doing out there. How do I get logged in for uh, Power Hour? Timothy, uh, you will see it in the community tab right there. It will be in the community tab about 15 minutes before Power Hour. And that's the last hour of the stock market there. So, yep, yep, and yep. You will see it. MRIN is looking like it's probably going to be a Power Hour play. CUEN could be a Power Hour play too. ATHE is very sketchy, moving kind of weird to me. It is worth something between the 230s and the 250s right there, but I think it possibly could push back up there. Here we go. Let's see if this thing's going to make it. The first five minute candle up over 1728 could be the monster. Could be the monster. Or whatever this five minute candle is going to be. The 1730s in about 10 seconds. The first five minute candle up over 1730s. That's going to be in about four more seconds. Here we go. Boom. That candle just closed. If this goes over 1730 right there, look out. Look, look, look out. Look out, man. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Then it's going to look weaker and the short sellers are going to take control. But until it does, we're going to see $17.30, $18, $19, $20 here. And we will find, find out. ATHE, where's that one sitting at? It's right up 220. It It went all the way up to 222 already. I would have been down five cents. Five freaking cents right there. MRIN, yep, MRIN always does a power hour move, exactly. But it's getting ready to do it right now. Up over that 1730s, look out, it's off to the races. Off to the races, off to the races, off to the races, come on. Off to the races, 1730s, let's do it. Next candle is 1750, off to the races, off to the races, come on. Take a little bit of profit up towards the $18 up here. Let's go. 1730, 1740s, 1750s, 1760s. Here we go. Let's see. This volume needs to really improve right here, though, in the next 30 seconds. What the heck, man? Come on. Come on. 1730. The next candle is at 1750 up there, but... A lot of people taking profits, not really trusting it that much here. 1730s, 30 cents. There you go. Scalped it. 695 to 1725. Beautiful little trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. I'm looking for a little bit more. It's looking like it's a bit a little bit weaker now, but it still has a chance. This five minute candle did make a new high up over that candle. So as long as this five minute candle can stay above the 1612s right there, it's still going to be looking okay. Watch the swoosh, 1612, yeah. Here we go, man. Man, I wish I could add into this. This thing is looking powerful. This thing is looking good. I would add into 17 right there. Or 1670s. Keep on taking profits on all these pushes. Keep taking profits. BLIN is moving up. BLIN too. ATHG coming back down a little bit. Let's see what's happening with this one. ATHG. Oh, the 213, 212. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Boom, boom, boom. Why didn't you call that out, Davey411? Good trade right there. Good trade. It's still a good trade. I would keep trading MRIN on all those dips. Keep buying the dips, selling the reps. Buying the dips, 20, 30 cents a profit over and over and over again. 
ATAG. Is it going to see the 250s up here? I really would love ATAG to see the 250s up here. Look at this thing, man. If people start selling, look at that volume today. 156 million all the way up. Are they going to hold on? The float's getting a little smaller and smaller and smaller. MRIN. Look at this thing. Support resistance. $17 to $17.20. $17.1680 to $17.20. Whatever the case may be around this area right here. This five minute candle has one minute left on it. If it breaks over this one, now it's off to the races because it's also going to break this one. 1750s right there. This thing, I don't know. I think a lot of people have an order at 1751 and or some stops right there. The short seller stops are up towards the $18. This thing, 1750, 1850, 1950, $20. Is it going to make it? Is it is it going to make it, man? I know that's not true. Let's get it, man. Let's do it. Let's get it, man. Let's get this. 17.50. Here we go. Was looking for seven bucks and got 6.95, John Wick. Yep, yep, yep. I believe it. I believe everything you everybody says out here. That's what I try to do. I be, I'm a believer. Believer, believer, believer. I got to get out of here in about in a few minutes, but I'm going to be XELA off of the $2 right there. It did have some support there too. So here we go. I'm not going to waste this buying power, but I want to see in the next, uh, look at that candle just closed up over the 1744s. Uh, you could put your order at 1745 here. If you didn't want to buy down on the support, you could definitely buy down here. But over that 1744s, what's going to happen? 1744. Here we go. Here we go again. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Are they going to hold it down? Is this going to be it? Is it going to be the rip out? Or is it going to be the rip neck? Over 1740, watch how it reacts. 1740s, here we go. Keep it moving, keep it going. Keep buying the dip, selling the rip. Buying the dip, selling the rip. Buying the dip and selling the rip, ma'am. This time, I would be a little bit wary of buying the dip all the way down to the 16 dollars. This thing could do a fake out first, actually. So we'll see. Thank you for being here. Love your great positivity. Thank you, man. Richard, it's always great to have you here. Thank you for being here. John Wick, Mysterious, Rolex, Davey, Bob Bush, everybody. Thank you, guys. M-R-I-N. I, I got to write this over... Uh, 1741 look out to the moon man to the moon over 1741 look out to the moon let's get this money let's go so even if i lose a hundred dollars on athe i'm fine with it but I'm going to show you I'm going to get out for an even trade or a winning trade. $80 trade. Even though I bought at the tippy, tippy top. But is it worth it to have my money tied up that long? Here we go. Here we go, man. Boom, boom, boom. Today, I believe. So do I, man. I think the $20, it's going to make it. It's going 20 22 23 24 is it going to make it? Look at the volume on all these candles. 200,000. Somebody keeps buying the dips, selling the rips. MEDS is also uh, popping up here. MEDS, high alert. MEDS, high alert. Up MEDS, high alert. MEDS, high, high alert. There is a trade on MEDS also. Buying right there, the 1730s for the push up to the 1770s on MEDS. MEDS, 
just so you guys know, I'm going to stay with MRIN though and find out what's going to happen here. MRIN. Uh, MEDS. MEDS right there. 1730, 1760, 17 or 770s. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Another beautiful little trade right there. I hope you guys seen it. I hope you guys got it. Beautiful, nice, and perfect, man. I mean, I have met so many false breakouts. This is the time. This is it. This is it. This is it. All the way up to $8 right there. I'm staying with MRIN. I still think it's going. MRIN, believe it or not, it's doing a fake out breakdown to me here. And I shouldn't be wasting all this buying power, but I'm thinking about adding one more time here. 1680, let's go. Let's get it. Monk, listen to video in Discord. I am. I Oh, listen to, oh, okay, I will. New video comes out tomorrow, 9 a.m. West Coast. I'm going to check it out. I for sure will check it out later. I got to get out of here for the day. As you guys know, I'm in ATHE. I'm going to put sell orders in here. So when I leave, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, a sell order. 240, uh, 4, 247, uh, 252, and then 262, 262. Okay, I'm getting out here for the day. MEDS is moving up, up, and up. I thought MRIN was going to the moon. I still like MRIN, but I'm going to get out of this one. Because I got to get out of here. I have some things to do today. But uh, MRIN is definitely moving up. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you guys in Power Hour. That's the last hour of the market. You find it in the YouTube community tab there. And that's what you do. B-L-I-N. Look at this. I, I mean, not B-L-I-N. Uh, M-E-D-S. Look at this, man. Buy the dip, sell the rip. Buy the dip, sell the rip. Thanks, Monk. Yep, no problem. Thanks, Sterling Trader, for being here. We'll see how ATHE works out. I'll see you guys in the afternoon. I'll see some of you guys in the morning. Either ATHE is going to be a winner or it's uh, or I'm not going to stop out of it. Have a great day. As